Once upon a time, there was a big boy. He wanted to eat. Then he became the tiny boy. But he still wanted to eat. And so he looked at the now big cake and said, God damn, I am hungry. Uh, and then his friends showed up and then he got mad because that meant less for him. And they were assholes and left him behind. So he ran up to try to catch up before they all ate at Kirby's Dream Buffet. Open 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Hey everybody, it's fortune cookie time. How y'all doing? We're gonna be starting with Kirby's Dream Buffet. I have not played this yet, so I did give the warning to subs who picked the starting game tonight. Uh, I don't know how much single player stuff I have to do first, so. So if this takes a bit before we get to any multiplayer stuff, I apologize, because I literally have not done anything with this yet. But before we hop in, I know Duke has been redeemed by random guy Nat. Let's see what wisdom Duke has to share tonight. Damn. Dude likes his cake. What can I say? Hi! Character treats collection, main menu, costumes and colors. I can't turn the ca camera? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh, he's excited. Look at the excited boy. I like how two of the buttons are just high. <clears throat> Alright, what colors we got? Kirby pink, Kiwi yellow, ice blue, and tea green. Alongside a lot of still locked stuff. Same with costumes. All right, main menu, character treats collection. I assume there's nothing here. Rewards menu, oh, and this cupcake's got a little little dot on it. <laughs> Tell me about my past adventures. Oh, it's just the same as it is in uh, Forgotten Land. Literally the same screen, but they added one more page. Okay, I'm out. Music's very excited. Okay, we can unlock whipped cream at rank two. Fire red. And many other great things, but I guess we gotta get actually playing first. So let's look at the credits. Why does it still have the exclamation prompt on it? Is that actually, did I get something for watching the full credits? No, you do not. Huh, okay. Main menu, then. Battle mode. Enjoy a four-player match against CPU characters or shared Joy-Con controllers to play locally with a friend. Online mode. Compete against uh, uh, compete online against other players all over the world or use a password to play with faraway friends. Local play. We put the four players by connecting those. Okay, so. So there's no story mode, basically. Roll, eat, and grow bigger. Bigger Kirby's will roll faster. The biggest Kirby wins. Use A to hover back after a fall. The smaller you are, the longer you can hover. Race to claim a strawberry mountain. Once all three are eaten, the Grand Prix will continue. Press R to use copy food abilities. Attack your biggest rivals to steal their strawberries. All right, I'll try Gourmet Grand Prix, then we'll do some online stuff. I want to practice round first. Today's menu, pancakes. Ooh, tea time and I missed the rest. Race to the Strawberry Mountains. <laughs> Sorry, hearing Ryu immediately after him seeing Kirby go high completely threw me off. All right, so just roll into him, A to jump. 
Eat a pancake. Burning. Burning from Xeno Persona, who kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, since it was my birthday yesterday, I figured I'd donate for luck. And I will be taking the course as my birthday cake. Thanks again for all you do and fostering such a fantastic community. Happy birthday, Xeno, but maybe maybe wait for Kirby to leave first? Or maybe you should have got there before Kirby started eating up all the strawberries. You might I don't know how I don't know how you fumigate food away from Kirby's at this point. Size up. Raid from Loving Soccer Cat. I don't know what Jelly does, but I'm gonna try it. I guess as advertised, it made me Jelly. Well, before we hop... See, this is also why I'm really glad we did not just hop right into online, because imagine all the pausing I would have to do right now. When I still don't even know what to do in this game other than roll. Let's run Catamash for Soccer Cat. Loving soccer cat, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. You seemed a little excited you got the drum roll that time. You hopped in right at the beginning of Fortune Cookie. You've barely missed anything. You've missed, like, the Duke to start, and that was about it. Jelly beans on pancakes. Does candy mix well with baked goods? Actually, yeah. Reese had some donuts today that actually uh, had, like, marshmallows and stuff like that on it. It was pretty good from what I saw. I'm taking the upper path, and I see why now. Oh, boy. Cannon! And the big cake. Oh, I actually have to do this. But I want more! Oh, more fell in here. Oh, okay. oh, it, oh, the long... Oh, okay. The longer it takes anyone else to get caught up, the more you get. Interesting. Ooh, they put this mix in. Nice. The boss mix from from the original Dreamland. Give the strawberries to Kirby. Oh, this is really fast, too. I didn't think... Go race the Strawberry Mountains! Just fucking go! <laughs> Don't wait! Ride the bacon! Uh-oh. Out of the way. Jelly! Beep, beep out of my way, I'm jelly. Oh god! That takes a lot of hits, wow, okay. I guess that's how they kind of balance things out a little bit. Borgar!
Oh god. Oh god! Give me more strawberries! Let's go! Are you my brother Rex Racer? <laughs> we are the big size now. Keep giving me more strawberries. Must crush our opponents! Main course, win the gourmet battle royale. One minute, 10 seconds. Out of my way. Oh my God, I can't even land. Beep, beep. Well, I didn't expect that much damage from that, damn. I'm just gonna grab all those. That burning did a lot of damage. Get off my stage! This is Kirby's house. Not Kirby's house, or Kirby's house, but Kirby's house. Oh god, I can barely control him at this size though! More strawberries! 400 strawberries! Uh oh! No! Not quite 400 strawberries. Delicious! Results. Most raspberries? Most five sack strawberries. Most time spent hovering. Yeah, that wasn't gonna be me. I did it! I broke the scale! Kirby will never walk again, but goddamn is he proud. Nope, oh, never mind. You got whipped cream. You got fire red. You got Caramel Country Western. You got a character treat, Kirby. Compliments of the chef. And the lore star cutter. <clears throat> cool. All right, let's do some online then. Thank you for playing Kirby Star Allies. And special bonus, three different music tracks from Kirby Star Allies can now be played during races. Thank you for playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. <laughs> Special bonus, three different music tracks from Kirby to Forgotten Land can never be played during races. Oh, I figured there were other games, just not those two. How do you hover again? I thought that was just A. Or is that only if you're going off the map? Super Kirby Clash has one too. I thought I owned that. Hang on. Why go over there? Is it Super Kirby Clash or Kirby Super Clash? Super Kirby Clash, I know I've played. We've played that on stream. Or do you mean, oh, oh is it Kirby Clash Deluxe? Kirby Fighters 2 we've played, and I don't have the Clash of Lux. Okay. <clears throat> you need a save file on the current Switch. Ah, oh, right! It was the, oh, it's because we swapped Switches to the OLED model, fuck. But that should have transferred too. That should have transferred as well, that's weird. All right, let's see how the, uh, let's see how online is. Check out the treats cake. Ah, yeah, let's decorate our cake. And that's all we can do.
What do we get for our next level up? Bandana Wild D. <clears throat> you have to manually download saves for each new game if you've logged into your Nintendo account on a new Switch. Ah. Alright, so I'll just boot that up at some other point then. I'll do a random match, and then let's do a match with some viewers. How about that? Dream Buffet must be Tilt and Tumble Remastered and Reborn. I mean, it ain't quite the same there. Like, it, it plays very different. <clears throat> Control's neat, though. It does, it controls pretty, pretty tight at least. Although maybe if I had to do stuff like this, it might not go as well. I want to hover, I want to practice my hovering. He's so excited to be upside down! And I got matched with... Nobody? <laughs> Did I get matched with nobody? <coughs> cake rolls, waffles, shortcake, and sandwiches. Yep, I got AIs. I literally got matched up with nobody. For reference's sake, this game has been out for two days. And I have other <clears throat> I have other people saying they tried to play with me, but they got paired up with randos instead. Add away. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, those walls do take a lot of hits. Oh, no. Oh god! <clears throat> oh, what a jerk. Get back here! Oh no, I'm not gonna make it in time for the big one! No! <clears throat> Hands around time, the game favors putting you in a match quickly over getting human opponents. Eh. Oh, that's not a strawberry! Holy shit, that stuns you for a while, though. Okay, this is, uh, this is pretty close. Race to the Strawberry Mountains. Why am I in the back? Because I'm first? I guess, yeah, Kerbstree's there, too, so I guess that is exactly it. Come on, come on, come on! Takes so many bloody hits. Are you my brother Rex Racer? <laughs> and slip through there. You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Slight lead. Oh my god, oh my god. No, that was not a very long lead though, based on how fast they caught up.
Oh my god, what's up with the frame rate? I'm playing against AI! Another way, Shotso. It's cake level kills frames. Ugh. All right, one minute, 10 seconds. Let's go! Tornado! Jelly! Oh god! Out of the way! Is there any like method to how far you can launch people with these hits? Because sometimes it just kind of feels like it's random to a point. Tornado! Get off my stage! Damn it. Wait for me! Uh oh. Ooh, no! That's bad. That's so bad! Oh, that might have fucked us over. That might have just fucked us over. No, no, we're fine. We did it! We beat AI, AI, and AI! But I got a lot more strawberries for being online, at least. I got a costume. I got these oranges. And some jazz music. And a snowball. And Pixel Pon and Con. And Adeline. Alright, let's put some more stuff on the cake. Hooray. Done and done. All right, let's do let's do a game with some viewers, shall we? All right, the password is going to be password one two, the safest of all passwords. Don't hack my luggage. Hypercole got in, and I can't even see the other two because they got in so fast. <laughs> I literally can't go see who else is here. <clears throat> do you need the game to play? Yes, yes you do. Shortcake, cheese fondue, donuts, and whole cakes. Race to the Strawberry Mountains. I see Peachy. So I assume it's Peachy Chan. And uh, I don't know who got the other in. in. It's not going to tell me until in between rounds, I guess. Pinky Girl, there we go. Definitely plays different when you've got humans here. Ah, shit. Ah, double shit. Oh, no.
Oh, come on! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! See, this is why I needed the practice rounds, guys, because I knew the second viewers got in, it was over. Cole, you asshole! See, this is the thing. I know you fuckers never hold back. <laughs> this is why I know I need to practice. This is why I did not jump right in. I don't think I got any strawberries that round. You got three, great. Very helpful. Alright, we can still come back from this! Thanks, I think, Colt. There we go. Oh, that's not a tunnel! Oh, dude, really? I can't see shit right now. Come on! Out of my way! Nice. Let's get through. Come on, something good. That'll work. Unless that stuns me! You shot so! Get him, get him! Not this time, asshole. <laughs> okay. Alright, the real test, where it all matters. I don't know- oh, that's Needle. Okay. No, I was trying to get away with that! Oh, if you're just stunned, that's it? You just... okay. I literally cannot control my character. There we go, Cole got hit. No, come on! Didn't get a chance to use jelly. Did Pinky jumped off on purpose? Oh no. Stay in it. This is definitely more hectic. Why can't I move? Okay, never mind. That worked, I guess. That might have swung it right there. Oh, it's overtime! What? That wasn't there last time! Jesus Christ! Alright, let's see what happened. Most cherries jumped. Most cookie walls crumbled, Pinky Girl. Most copy food abilities used, Pinky. I think Pinky Girl might have won that. Nope, never mind. Still got it somehow. Burger!
Burger Brown! Double Burger! New course is available. Kirby Cake. I got a Magalore playing a guitar. And Kirby Star Rod. And group pose. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's set up another room. This is why we don't hold back. Yeah, because y'all make me have to not fucking, like, y'all make me have to learn real fast. Many abilities have extra moves. If you press R again while it's active, the needle dashes one. I was trying to figure out why that wasn't working, because it I had it moving earlier, but... Can I practice the moves in free rolling? Yes, I can. Perfect. Oh, it just doesn't tell you? Okay. Interesting. How to play. No, that, really? Okay. So there's no guide for how to use these moves. It's just do it. <laughs> Just figure it out! I mean, I guess so! Hey, at least there's a practice mode. I'll give him that. See, this is one that seemed a lot more impressive in the trailer. High jump? Doesn't seem as effective here. Maybe they balanced it out because they realized how broken it was. Aren't some of the copy moves only on certain maps? That wouldn't surprise me. Ah, I can poop jelly. And burning. Oh, burning can be extended. Interesting. Alright, so I guess that's just... It's just the eight powers, right? You can hold down R with stone? I assume that just makes it a bigger stone. Now there it is. Oh, wow! Okay. Yeah, that would do it. High jump is last place only. Ah, okay. There's also a rare invincibility candy. Make it to the pancakes! Make it to the pancakes! Hang on to the half pipe, apparently. This is, this is interesting. Can I use this midair? No. Okay. Nope, nope. Home table. Let's get another round in with you guys. This time we'll have the most secure password. Password one three! And it's already full. Mr. Bryzen and two others. Johnny, they add a special character and a capital letter. No, that's only if I want it to be on my bank account. All right, so we're starting with donuts. Skate man, Mr. Bry. Oh boy, oh boy! And 
it looks like you be Rambo or Umbra. Well, since Rambo was asking if you need to own the game, I'm going to assume that is not them. Oh, that's not, that's the button, there we go. Oh God, sometimes he just goes right into the grooves of these stages. Oh my God, it's so hard to do certain moves here. Maybe it's easier if your size is up. Go under, go under. Oh boy. Just go for it. Just go for it, man. Go, 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 go. We're almost there. Nice. All right, who do we got? Skater Man, Mr. Brian, uh, Umbra, and myself. <clears throat> Eat the falling strawberries. Clean up Kirby's face. Oh, got bum. God, this second round, like, barely matters, because it's just so fast. All right, another race. Oh, I'm back to the pancakes. All right, luckily this was the track we already did. So a general idea of what to do here. No, 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 stay on the track. Got that just in case it matters. He looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh my god, there we go, it took that much to catch up! Thankfully, no one went for that. Ooh, I'm getting bonus strawberries, too. Alright. The big deal. Oh, I already have a power up, right? Poop jelly! Oh boy. Oh, you had two! I looked like you only had one! Damn it! What? Burning seems a little too good. Yeah, burning seems a little too good. I couldn't even see him! Yep, we lost that one rough. Jesus, burning just seems so 
much stronger by comparison. Didn't even get any bonuses. I think we might have got last on that. No, third. Rough. Love, love, alive, Vol. Elfland Roach. And that's it. Tornado's the worst. The only thing that's worse is drill. I mean, well, at least with tornado, it's meant to pick up strawberries. But you think it would actually like do something? It looks like the only one that we got that did anything was burning. Uh, you know what? I think that's good for me. Burning, wheel, and stone can do insta-kills. Yeah, that makes sense, but I think I only saw the two show up just then, right? I didn't see anything other than tornado and burning. Okay, it was Umber that was in there, Umber Husky. And I guess I had jelly, but that's because I brought it in from the previous race. Needle is nasty. That's needle can outright destroy rock. Interesting. Stage only items. Eh, that's what I figured. And since it's randomized, you can't control, right? So, eh. How many levels do they expect you to get? They expect you to play this for a while! Oh my god! Wow! Yo, I like this game, but I don't think I level 135 like this game, you know what I mean? Jesus! More content than New Strikers game. Oh man, don't make me cry. <laughs> I hate it. You stop burning stages around stage 50. Gotcha. And it's cheaper too. Again, y'all making me real sad about strikers. The, yeah. All right, let's go to the cookie then, shall we? Hang on a second, because I just realized I didn't load up the viewer choices yet. No, not that window. All right, let's do it. If you folks are new here, here's how this works. On Fortune Cookie Nights, which are usually Saturdays, we roll random games to see what we're playing next on stream. Oh, <laughs> right, that happened. Hang on, get, get out of here. There we go. Keep forgetting about that. All right, uh, so we made a slight change to the rules last week. We're gonna actually flip things around a little bit. We're gonna start with five viewer choices and three random choices, and then it'll be four viewer choices and the usual from there on out. So we're gonna start with five games here right off the bat from viewers. HB Bowsy 64 kicks us off with the game Later Alligator on Steam. Let's hashtag save Pat. Lman123 with the second game saying Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch.
Oh, 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 my dude says, listen to me, John. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> this is this is Mike, isn't it? I think this is Mike from uh, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Listen to me, John. Pay good attention. You're gonna play Dawn of War Soulstorm, and you're gonna play it as the orcs fashion. They're the best, and that is the truth it is. SM Orc. So it, it got away from Mike after a while. Dawn of War Soulstorm, which I assume is Steam. I'm gonna assume I have that on Steam. Faison Farmer says, putting in a mark for CrossCode on Steam. A nice and crunchy action RPG with a fantastic story about a girl trapped in an MMORPG. I think that's actually our starting game for the next power trip, too, if memory serves. And our last game for this round of cookie from the viewers is from Jeffrey Rhinus. Jeffrey says, for my cookie choice, I chose the My Friendly Neighborhood demo on Steam. It's a Resident Evil styled game with a Muppet aesthetic. Uh, regarding uh, Resident Evil in gameplay only, no gore, but just in case you can't do that since it technically isn't in your backlog, my backup choice is a game from my childhood, Machine Hunter on PS1. Let me see if that demo is still available. Because I, I gotta admit, I'm kind of interested in the in the subject. Hi, friendly neighborhood. Yeah, there's a demo. Oh, it's this game. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll let. It, I don't have the game, but I'll let it slide. Well, the game's not even out. <laughs> That's why. This is just the game's not even out yet. Apparently. All right, later alligator on Steam, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Switch, Dawn of War Soulstorm on, I assume, Steam, Crosscode on Steam, and My Friendly Neighborhood Demo on Steam, alongside the following three games. Game number one from the cookie, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Xbox Live Arcade. It's Marvel, baby. Game number two, Ikaruka on Switch. Wow, okay. Taking out the early 2000 bangers already. So that is a uh, one of Treasure's probably best known shmups at this point. And last but not least, t fucking wow. Tetris Attack for the Super Nintendo. Or Pokemon Puzzle League, if you know what is that. It's paneled upon. It's Puzzle League. It's, it's a puzzle game. But you probably know it. That, the cookie apparently came out swinging today based on these game choices. Let's see if it can match up with the viewer choices. Let's get the bot set up. Good to go. Your eight choices are up. Chat. Click the link that'll be dropped in chat mom momentarily to vote and see what game we play next. I am going to abstain from voting on this one because this is a pretty loaded card already. But currently in the lead. <laughs> My Friendly Neighborhood demo is actually in the lead. Huh. All right. Not quite what I expected, but there you go. My Friendly Neighborhood demo currently in the lead. 99 votes, 20% of the vote. Tetris Attack in second place, 92 votes, 18%. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, 84 votes, 15%. Breath of the Wild, 70 votes, 12%. Crosscode, 54 votes, 9%. Later Alligator, 49 votes, 8%. Ikaruga, 46 votes, 7%. And Dawn of War Soulstorm in last place, 25 votes, 4%. 607 votes clock so far. My Friendly Neighborhood's demo is currently in the lead, 147 to 120. Let's put a minute on the clock and see what happens. Voted for Muppet Resident Evil, but honestly, this is the first cookie in a while I've been good with any game winning. I mean, it's a strong list. These are all pretty good games.
158 to 138, 20 vote lead. If for some reason the game is second place, is we say 2% or less, 1.99. It's just faster to say 2. Or less away from the leader, it will be added to the next poll as an extra option. However, viewer, sorry, COCOMs rather, who will be joining me after the break, will also be adding on game choices and usually swings to one side. So let's see what happens here. 162 to 141, it looks like Muppet Resident Evil might have been too irresistible because it's up next. My friendly neighborhood, the demo wins. It's now 2% instead of 1. It's still a 1% rule. I just got kind of lazy, like, doing exact math. So I'm just like, ah, fuck it. If it's 2 or under, it's still 1%. 1.99 is still 1%, technically. J just for simplicity's sake, basically. All right. So we've got a demo up next. This will be interesting. Hopefully it runs all right. Our next viewer choices, let me clear out the ones that just ran. Our next viewer choices are coming to us from Big O26 Shen, Phase on Edge, Major Mooch, and is it, do I say this? Zero Runit Run, Run I butchered this last time. Runitia 9, Zero Runitia 9 or Zero Run Runitia 9. I said the exact same thing. But either way, uh, there'll be four choices from every other round from here on out. All right, let's drop some eggs. Oh, that's a big list. Clockmaster100, welcome to the stream with your new sub. Hopefully you enjoy your time here. Everyone else, thank you all for subbing. The list is a little too long to read, but shoutouts to the long timers at the Griffin88 at 85, El Pica Bandito at 85, Puppet Master at 105, Kermomancer at 80, Vincent Sin at 82, and Horizon Strider at 92. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Really appreciate it. Oh my god. Sorry, just got a message. Uh, thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. Oh, I appreciate it. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. All right. All right, okay, that's good to know, I guess. From Eli Gamer X, the wisdom of King DDD. What is that there thing? What is that there thing? What was that last message? The line you just heard is from the 98th episode of Kirby Right Back At You, and yes, 4Kids was actually able to get away with saying that in the episode. Hey, what is that there thing? What's wrong with saying what is that there thing? That's what I heard is what is that there thing? Is he actually... I don't think he's... Saying damn. Hey, what is that damn thing? Yeah, he's saying there. That's not damn. <laughs> That's definitely not damn. That's definitely there. I could see I could see mishearing it as damn, but there's no way four kids let that through. That's definitely there. Alright, either way. Next up from Private Butter, Emil's words of wisdom. That is a big bowl of tasty sausage. You have been a s a meal and his tasty sausage. And clockwork pretzels with I spent way too much time on this lol. Damn. 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 All right, let's go. <laughs> I've got balls of steel. I've got balls of steel. Movie. I love it. I've got balls of steel. I've got balls of steel. Bitchin. I've got balls of steel. Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty good clockwork. We're gonna get a break. I'll grab some cocoms, and when we come back, I guess we'll be checking out that demo. See you guys in a bit for my friendly neighborhood.
Also, uh, a poll just got ran in the chat for what do you hear? Uh, 67%, 117 people said they was a that, and 33%, 57 said damn. So more people did hear that. I'm pretty sure that's because of the accent. Like he's got that, as someone put in chat, a Louisiana accent. All right, see you guys in a bit. Several people are typing. I'm going to save that. Dan, I could use that gift, something tells me. Save that in my response images folder. men do you know what you're doing mm, 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 mm. I don't what How big is your image folder in terms of reaction stuff? I don't have... So I only put a couple things in there. I think there's only like 10 pictures in there. 12. What do you even have in here? Uh, I know it's not that big of a folder, all things considered. No, no, that's more than I thought. That's 49 pictures in there. It's not bad. Here we go. Here's here's a perfect example of what I have in there. Oh, you can't drag. I thought you could drag images into OBS. I guess not. Here, I thought you could. Never mind. Can't show that off. And I guess that's just an exploit feature.
That's one of people's big complaints coming from XSplit, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of miss some features of XSplit. But I also like my streaming software to work. So, sorry, Dexplit. Some of these I am confused and surprised I have in here. Oh, that's a good one. Hang on. Alright, you know what? I'll show some of these. Hang on. Uh, this is the one I was going to drag and drop in here in the first place. Did I actually save the image slide? I don't think I did. source that'll make it easier. Uh, why isn't it showing up? Hello? The fuck? Hang on. Maybe I'm not showing you this image. It is not letting me show you this image for some reason, and I don't know why. Isn't it great when technology works exactly as intended? Maybe it's because it's just DK giving the middle finger. That's probably why it didn't work. This is... This is the... Uh, the image I was trying to show you in drag and drop earlier. That's one of my reaction images I have on my computer. But there's like other ones on here that I like, I do not remember where I got them from or what the fuck. Like, this one right here. And if Usagi doesn't come over there and kick your ass, I'll do it for her, I'll tell you what. I don't know where I find half this shit. That's another good one that's on here. This is another one I started laughing at earlier. Hey, do us all a favor and shut the fuck up. Shut the whole fucking fuck up. Shut the new extended three hour edition the fuck up. Once you've done that, put the bonus disc in and click on the deleted fucks and shut those the fuck up. And once you've finished shutting the physical fuck up, redeem the code on the back, download the digital fuck from Amazon and shut those up. Shut your 30 day free trial the fuck up. And once your mouth has redeemed or receded into itself with such force from shutting the fuck up that your entire digestive system collapses into a black hole, Shut the fuck up one more time. For the betterment of humanity. It's a really good one. Again, I don't know where I, where I got this from, so I have no source to cite for that one, sadly. Uh... What else do I have here? <laughs> Why... <laughs> what is this doing in here? This is great. This folder's got some great stuff in it. <laughs> Do 
That's another good one. This is so dumb. I fucking love it. Alright, that's enough out of that folder. Are our Kilcoms hung out? I'm the one not in the room! I'm the one not here. No wonder it was so quiet. Deep will be right back even to do something or other. Oh. Hello. I'm, I'm gonna correct uh, that, but only because oh. I'd like to talk to you about your extended warranty of Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go grab a soda and be right back. I'm not gonna lie, I was lurking in the beginning of the, that, that text blurb, so I was kind of terrified for a moment. Oh yeah, no, I could see someone legit thinking I was actually mad. No, 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 I was just reading a script. I was reading an image. Don't worry, don't worry. We're not, no one's in trouble. Clockwork, yes, it is me. Here, someone wanted me to, uh, someone wanted that, that, <laughs> that Virgil gift. Hang on, let me, let me find that Virgil image. Because someone wanted me to put that in, I'll put it in the sub server. Oh, oh. oh fuck I'm putting in announcements fuck it's worthy of an announcement <laughs> it's that kind of night tonight baby what do we even have this under I have this under Virgil monster energy drink I guess that makes sense <laughs> it's so stupid I love when my energy drink matches my hair there you go, for those who wanted it, I put it in the announcements tab in the subserver. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's get to it. We got Deef and Vincent joining us tonight. I'm in a new apartment, finally. Ooh, yeah, I saw, I was actually surprised you volunteered for CoCom, and then I saw why, and that all makes sense now. Congrats on the new place. Yep. Uh, I'm surprisingly, it's uh, income-based, which I'm surprised still exists in some parts of this nation. I mean, I was gonna say I was—I've been in the same one before too, but uh, I'm in a different country, so I could see that being a moot point. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Let's quickly read alerts. Oracle of Bacon says, Did you know that, thanks to the lore from Kirby Cafe, Meta Knight canonically has a secret sweet tooth? Just don't tell him that we know, all right? Is that why I saw, like, round Meta Knight trending on Twitter for a bit? I remember the day this came out, I just kept seeing big round Meta Knight on the internet everywhere. And I got a little worried about the internet for a bit, but then I'm like, all right, whatever, it's because of the game. Oh, that's an old meme? Yeah, but it came back. There was there were new posts for it. That's why he wears the mask to hide the cavities. Yeah, there you go. Here and I, Hideyoshi says, Hey, y'all, I have finally found a solid solution to my lack of drawing. The sheer amount of restrictions I've placed upon myself. I ended up drawing a red Pikmin dressed up as Noah from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wow. <laughs> Nicely done, Kira and I. Everyone else who activated alerts, thank you all for them, but there's no messages on these. GFR091702 says, Hey John, had an idea if you're not done with Xenoblade by December. Just stream Xenoblade on the days you would do game clearing and fortune cookie since I heard the deadline is at the end of the year. Read off of YouTube description from last part. No, the, the, the deadline is Coliseum, which is like April, probably. So we got like an extra four months after December. We're fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry. And from what people are telling me, the rate we're going will probably be okay. But I've got a couple trips coming up in the next couple months, so that might uh, that might skew some things. We'll see. As you know, Persona again. Happy birthday. Hang on. I almost went and loaded up the Duke one instead. I should have actually I should have loaded up the Duke instead of just playing the proper one. But here we go. Philip J. Fry says. All right. It's Saturday night. I have no date, a two-liter bottle of Shasta, and my all-rush mixtape. Let's rock. Making memories intensifies. Gokai Orange says, Getting birthday luck not for me, but for my mom and dad, who were born on the 19th and 21st, respectively. Mom's having health issues, and dad's place is in dire need of repairs that he can't afford. Hope the luck works on others, because we could use it. Oof, well, first off, happy birthday to both of them. And secondly, it sounds like they do need some luck, so here's hoping for some good luck from both. 
Thank you, Gokai. Hope it turns out for him. Hmm? No, I was just saying, hope everything turns around for him. Hmm. Sorry, I couldn't hear you when you said that the first time. Hang on, I gotta see if I can load up the audio clip for this next one, too. <laughs> you gotta... snickering before you load something up is always ominous. Yeah, hang on. Uh, from Owa 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 my dude. Mmm, strawberries. Uh, Tails Faraga says, Damn, girl, what you doing with all that cake? Eating it. <laughs> Cloud3514 says, So I picked up Guilty Gear Strive last week. The soundtrack has been on repeat since. Please send help. Also, Bridget is officially trans. Trans rights, motherfucker. Yes, the Guilty Gear soundtracks have always been awesome. I've been listening to them on CDs and onwards since, uh, Double X. It is good shit. Also, mmm, strawberries. And, nope, that is not it. I thought that was the end of the list. Hang on. Faison Farmer says, So I actually thought about putting CrossCode in for March Madness, but one, it's 35 and a half hours on how long to beat. Two, most of the trailers I'm aware of are 80% combat and action, 20% story, which is the opposite ratio of what I enjoyed about it. And three, I'm bad at explaining what's good about things without getting into spoilers, so without a trailer, I was kind of hosed. So I put up Bomberman Hero instead. Gotcha. Thank you, Faison, for at least explaining that. Becky Star says, Hey, John, I had a rough start today. This morning, as soon as I woke up, I felt the heat strongly and got up for a tissue. I think because I got up too quickly, I immediately got super dizzy. I was scared to pass out, so I sat on the floor for a few minutes, then got food and water. Now my mom suggested keeping a bottle of ice water near my bed when I sleep. Yeah, if it gets too hot, that, that does sound like not quite heat stroke, but yeah, like, it probably would actually be that, so. It's a good idea to keep water and stuff nearby your bed. Hope you're feeling all right now, Becky. And with that, let's hop into Art Block. Uh, art block starts right here. It's actually a short art block. We can probably get through it all right now. Let's see what we can do. Art block starts right here. The piece from Gespent. Chugga saying that John's brand is boobs and guns made me think he's got a point. Rosa John doesn't have enough gun. I don't know how I feel about this, but... We'll roll with it. So I made this based on the 1990s Japanese tokatsu movie Lady Battle Cop, which was essentially gender-bent Robocop. Her name is Rosa Battle Cop. She's got a gun. A gun that looks like a key or like a gas pump handle. But I assume it does tremendous damage. Also, I've seen the trailer for this movie, but I have not been able to find the movie itself. Is it? It might be on YouTube fully dubbed, maybe. I hope. Or sorry, subbed, subbed. I'm looking for subs, because I doubt it's dubbed. But uh, I will I'll have to look into that now that you've reminded me about it. Thank you, Gishman. Next up. Ooh, you finished it. Nice. From Kitty Roko. Told you that I'd get it done before the end of the week. My wrist may hate me for the rest of the day, but I love this piece. I think it might be my best one yet. Obviously, it's a Rosa John, but I've snuck in some flower meanings because I could. Small white ones in her hair are Angelica's. Yes, it is their name. No, it's not from Hamilton. They represent inspiration. I chose these for the very obvious art inspiration that she and the rest of the alts give to the community. The three flowers that she's holding, the calla lilies, represent beauty. Like the Angelica's, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Her earrings are of a carnation. This flower means change with what color it is. I meant for the flower to be a light red or pink to symbolize a mother's love or admiration, though it seems color theory wants it to be more of an orange. Oops. Well, that's the spiel, and now to put my wrist on ice since it hates me that much. Yo, Kitty, don't hurt your wrist for art, but thank you so much for sharing said art. It's very lovely. Appreciate it so much. It's very nice. And yeah, that definitely that definitely is coming off more as an orange because of color theory. Yeah. Very cute though. Nice and done. How long till we get wand gun chucks? Oh my god, that sounds a little too dangerous. I feel like the wand chucks already are halfway to gun chucks anyways. Listen, there's only so much you can do before a gun becomes just a big box. Yeah, fair. Next up, from Luna Soul Fox. Kirby Squeak Squad was my first introduction to the Kirby series, and it's one of my first video games. It holds a special place in my heart, so when Squeak Squad came up on the last cookie, I wanted to draw a Gajinka of Dark Nebula, ruler of the underworld. I was gonna say, I saw this earlier, and I was like, this is a very... I don't recognize this character. 
And I think that's because, yeah, it's Dark Nebula, which looks a little happier than, I would assume, in-game Dark Nebula looks. It's been too long since I played through Squeak Squad. Thank you, Loon Soul. This is still very cute. I also noticed that they're trapped in a treasure chest, or at least standing in one. Next that up. treasure chest look like the Paper Mario 64 treasure chest to anyone else? Or am I just crazy? Uh, I can't... See, I only can think of a wooden one. I can't think of that color scheme for Paper Mario, but then again, it's been that long. I can kind of see it, but... Yeah. Again, same kind of same boat, been a while. Next up from Arsene, when the Minecraft Johniverse was created, there were three gods, Mario John, Buffton, and Rosa, but then uh, when the all was made, they decided to live among the den denizens and create new friends. Hope you were all well, and I just want to say I love this community, and I do hope you all succeed at everything you do. Thank you, Arsene. Appreciate it. Those are three interesting ones to have as the gods of the Minecraft Johniverse. <laughs> I like, I like, I get Rosa and I get Buff Time, and then it's like, it's just Mario John. He's just here to jump and play games. Paper Mario. I thought, I thought. Did you? What game did you say? Did you say Paper Mario, or did you say a different game for the chest? I, said I Paper heard Mario. Paper Mario. You said which game did you say, Dave? Paper Mario. Okay, so I'm not crazy, because someone was questioning what I just said. Alright. So I'm not crazy. Alright, good. I didn't want to repeat of last week where I said something and I just don't remember saying it, so I wanted to make sure I remembered correctly this time. From Grease Lightning, food! I have so badly wanted to go see the Kirby-themed cafes in Japan, but obviously I can't right now. For real, though, Kirby Buffet looks fun for a good time killer, if only I had more money. Thankfully, it's not a full price game, it's 20 bucks. But, uh, I mean, if you got people to play with or you don't mind just doing random matches, it seems alright. You know, thank you, Greased. Next up. Big Carb! He's so big. From Noir! Boy, oh. He's so big. Th sorry, 20 US. Sorry, 20 Canadian, 15 US. To so clarify, it is $20 Canadian, 15 US. Y'all gotta remember, I have a different currency than you guys. Thank you for B Kirby. Next up, from Fishy12233. Been on a real Smephany animation kick lately. I just had to animate Smephany's first cat fight. By the way, the animation should be coming out tomorrow. Damn, Fishy, you knocked out like a ton of these. Like You did two, like one today and one yesterday. You're, you're really on a streak right now. Thank you, Fishy, for that. Uh, if you have not seen these, uh, Fishy's been putting these on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, just little short animations for America's Next Top Model, the playthrough I did with Reese many, many moons ago. Fishy, let me see if I can actually... <coughs> find your channel and link that for those curious. It's gonna take me a hot second here. Smephany's not a name I've heard in many years. Here we go. For an example of one of them, this is the one that went up today. How are these bitches beating us? Yeah, we're 840 points. How do we get more points, though? Should we go look and see if there's any more clothes we can buy? Vanessa, apparently. Vanessa, you, you fucking suck, bitch. How are these bitches- Just little ones like that. So the channel for that one is The Gay Tarantula. I'll link it here on in chat. Let me just quickly boop and boop, and I did that again, and there you go. And for everyone, anyone who has not watched that LPM Reese's channel, it is amazing. <laughs> like, just absolutely amazing. <laughs> In all the best ways. It is a wild ride if you've never seen that playthrough. Next up, from Mimo Riru. Mimo in the flesh! AKA, because of this game, I got to meet Kirby. He was in New York. Literally found out about this the morning it was happening. I went, yeah, why not? I got nothing better to do. <laughs> they just went down to go visit Kirby. <laughs> also, not me wanting to make another charm for you, but this time of your actual OCs, but not wanting to, like, you know, overimpose myself. Are you asking me, do I want free stuff, Mimo? Because the answer is yes, I would love free stuff. Thank you so <laughs> much, Mimo. <laughs> I like how you even made the tag. You're so happy to see Kirby, though. Look at the smile on your face. All right, and there's also, a, you linked a video too. Give me a second here. Video to go with my Buru post because Kirby got stuck. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh, everyone's so worried he's gonna pop. That's awesome. Thank you, Mimo. All right. Oh, that's cute. He lives. He lives for another day. Next up from Kai Kai Bubba. Hey John, it's been a while, hasn't it? I went back to check when my last post was and it was on February 8th of this year. I really haven't been watching streams or anything lately because I've been very freaking busy. Between doing water polo and recording or editing my YouTube videos, it's been chaos. But after doing counseling and taking a much needed break from many different things, I got my life back together. It's good to kick back and watch one of your streams after a while. Anyways, have a good day, John, and the rest of the chat. Also, my birthday passed, it was in May. Well, happy super belated birthday to you, Kai Kai. And uh, thank you for the Kirby. This is my Kirby from Dream Buffet, forgot about that. Too busy laughing at the many fucks. Fair enough. <laughs> Next up, it's another curb. For Mom, not Batman. See, I yeah, I was gonna say I thought you were doing Cap. Oh, because there's the prince right there. Na 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 na. Curb. There goes King Diddy. He's running away. Just realized that too. Bump, 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 ba da da da. And the last piece I've got an art block before we go to some gaming. Ma'am, you were disqualified hours ago for not completing the race. Ma'am. Uh, ah! Rosa has no reason to be all caked up like that. Who damn? How much? Why were her glasses underneath her chest? What happened? That this, Did she just try to roll and she couldn't? Or was she just trying to eat the pancakes and cake? Yes, oh you pick which it applies to. That's fair. Thank you, Rhyme. She made an attempt. There was an attempt. <laughs> Food coma, also viable. Alright, my alarm's going off, so let's do it. It's time... for me to realize I fucked up. I am looking forward to this game. I didn't even download the demo yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. I Batting a thousand to tonight, to baby! Man, it's like I turned into a Proton John stream or something. Uh... <laughs> Alright, what's the game? My... Well, I guess the game's not even probably not going to be in the system yet. My friendly neighborhood. Well, chat questions while it's downloading, which is probably going to take all of 30 seconds, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll be done pretty fast. There's actually one more piece in art block which we can show. Let's see if there's a message on it before I click it. <laughs> ah! Oh, I thought this was also rhyme. <laughs> it's not. All right. It's only fair. We're, we're very round today. Look, from Cubed Off. Look, you named this fortune cookie the round edition. What the fuck else was I supposed to do? Not draw round, Rosa? Come on, you had to have sort of yeah. expected this, right? I mean, I knew we were starting with a game with round boys, and I realized what actually led to this was A, yeah, Kirby Buffet, and B, the other game was a golf game was the choice, so it was, they had, you know, it's about balls, so I figured it was going to be a very round day at this rate, so there you go. <laughs> Thank you for the very round Rosa cubed off. And it looks like I need, that was all the stalling we needed, because it's ready to go. Yay. Time for whatever the hell this is going to be. Uh, this this is gonna be interesting. If this is the game I've seen the demo of, it's gonna be I interesting. Looked at, I looked at the pictures and went, "Oh, this is going to be so weird," and I am so looking forward to it. All right, volume warning. I don't know how loud this is gonna be as I boot it up. Uh, the answer is somewhat, but thankfully it's giving me like brightness and darkness settings first, so we can fix volume now. Oh no, oh, 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 there we go, that's why it wasn't working, okay. John, thoughts on Dragon Ball and Fortnite, it, Yo, it just came out. I, I'm stupidly excited, I can't believe they put the, the Kamehameha in there as a move, I think that's fucking hilarious. I, I would I'm, play, I'm... I'd play Fortnite again. <clears throat> for him to try to unlock him, but I don't know how many points you need to get it. I actually am more care about getting Vegeta, but yeah, it still looks <laughs> awesome. All right, I'm not the biggest fan of Fortnite for exploitation reasons, but I respect anyone who does enjoy the game. So, have fun with what you play with. Have fun where you have fun, is what I'm trying to say. 
Oh yeah, what was that? The, what was the... What was the fucking pronunciation that, uh... That people were getting really upset about today? So, there's like a... There's like a... I don't know if it was a TikTok or if it was a YouTube video of like... Telling you how to power up your, your move. But they said Kamehameha in like the... The weirdest way... That someone... Like, the internet was going nuts for. What was that pronunciation? And Prime just sent it to me before I even finished saying it. There we go. All right, for those who have not heard this. New Dragon Ball Mythic in Fortnite, 10 times stronger. So we all know the Kamiyamama is over- New Dragon Ball- The Kamiyamama. <laughs> the Kamiyamama. <laughs> Call me your mama. Okay. That's, that's a choice. I mean, I, I see it wrong as- Kamehameha, but but yeah, no, that, that was, was that was a, an interesting that that feels on purpose that mispronunciation. So it has to be. It's just still funny mm. either way. All right, let's <laughs> yeah. uh, let's get this loaded up here. All right, will this show up as PC game? There we go. Perfect. Adjust your contrast until the moment both Normans become visible. They will both be your friends. Adjust your exposure until the moment the left-hand Norman disappears. Then he will become your friend. I guess he was already in the right spot. Me, my John, and Evan. I, well, never mind. Didn't get to see that. We fixed it! My friendly neighborhood. Leave it as is. Uh, where are the controls, though? <laughs> Left, right, up, down, fire, action, investigate, rotate. Oh, I'm beginning to wonder if I should, should, I, should I switch the controller or stick with keyboard and mouse? I wish you feel more comfortable with the controller. All right, Xbox Connect. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Carefully choose carefully. Norma's watching. Difficulty for normal players. Difficulty for those experiencing this uh, experience with survival horror. This will be tough. Let's go with normal. Welcome to the neighborhood. Gribbity frog. Welcome. Well, no getting back up that way. A B C one two three. <laughs> Not anymore. What if I tried, though? All right, I am Your healthy, gun. and I have 11, 11 letters left in my gun. Your gun is an index. Incredible. Yep, so I shoot letters at, uh, at monsters. Oh, dear, oh, my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here? Oh, having a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> Look, you gotta give up this nonsense about the antenna. Looks very bad. Very unprofessional. It's my job. Look, Gordy, I know our routine's a little rough, but don't judge a show by its pilot. Incidentally, I would hide again. What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing, but doesn't like it when people intrude on his territory. Tends to get a bit grouchy. One might say, assault happy? Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Didn't help, though. He goes through the pipes. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. Bye. <laughs> right, someone said turn up the volume a little bit. Oh, that voice oh, is, is louder than I usually Hello, have these. <laughs> Is that actually Arlo or are people just saying that to meme on it? I can't even tell anymore. That sounds so Arlo. It if, does if it's a not, I'd be surprised. And I heard that apparently it got confirmed. It is confirmed. Okay. Okay. 
Alright, I got some more letters and I got some duct tape, apparently. Cool gun flip. I know, I'm just trying to remember what the controls are. Uh, that is apparently rotate and return. Uh, investigate. I have two weapons, apparently, or I might not have them yet. I guess there's no reload button. It's the only weapon I have currently. That door is locked, but it has a diamond on it. Bye! <laughs> wow, they really went for Resident Evil based on how you go through these doorways. I was just thinking the same thing. Some more magazines. A folder I can't pick up. Some shells. Some tokens. The Shadow Sapphire. Ooh! The novelist. Don't mind if I do. Let's get writing. Press the bumpers to switch between the Rolodexer and the novelist. Wee! These reload animations are so cheesy, and I love them. Cool guy, Nikola Tesla. Some duct tape. Some more magazines. Studio rules. Be friendly to your neighbors. Keep quiet on set during filming. When the red lights are on, it's a hot set. It's tricky enough to quiet the neighbors. Guests are not permitted during filming unless previously allowed by production. All visitors must sign our blanket MFNDA. Children are to be kept only in the designated areas and far away from the puppets. What? What'd you think would happen? Uh uh. That's just the starter bit, John. You ever forget you have an alert because it doesn't go off that often? <laughs> you get very confused when you hear yourself talking to yourself. Uh, children are uh, kept only in the designated areas and far away from the puppets unless a handler is present. Their safety is our liability. Avoid equipment you are unfamiliar with. No swearing around the neighbors. Our felt friends are highly suggestive. Cables, wires, and cords are to be taped down at two feet intervals. A stepping or standing on cables can cause long-term damage. Dangerous materials such as scissors, tape, and toxic products such as paint thinner, uh, oops, loony glue... Etc. are to be kept on high shelves that are reached from the neighbors. They have longer arms than you think. Be mindful of custodial staff. It's their job to empty the trash in from the bins. It's not their job to pick up your litter. It's their job to polish the floors. It is not their job to clean up mud from muddy boots. And generally, keep the studio in the same condition as found. Your future self will appreciate it when you return for the next production. I'll read that in a bit, Radiant, if you're cool with that. Thanks. Okay, locked from the other side. Uh-oh, if wet, don't walk. When enemies are knocked down, knocked over, you can tape them. Look at an enemy and press the A button. Well, have fun. Mm, that really hurt. There's the letter P. You stay down there. Think about what you did. I leave my letters around here. 
Chain over the handle. Have a smiling day! What is... This is just a, a sentence with a bunch of fixes? Okay. Note from Julia. Benny, could you walk me home after that shoot today? I'm feeling a little unsettled after that mugging on Great Street a couple nights ago. It seems like the city's getting more and more violent every day. Sometimes I feel like the only safe place is the neighborhood. I know it's silly, but it means a lot to me. Mr. Gerswold usually lets me go around 6.30. Meet me in the office lobby. Julia. Nope, here's my my folder. Nothing. Damn, we opened these fast, though. Oh, but I want the hat. Hi. <laughs> Chapter two, they're not gonna be in there. Oh. Okay, then. Yep. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Did I just get a fucking health tonic? What did I just pick up? I don't have a map. Hey, did you, did you need, like, any help or anything? Okay. How about you? You alright? Alright. Oh, that was a vent. Okay. Yeah, my back's a little stiff. Oh, here we go. Here's my inventory. You really can't combine these? That seems a little... That seems a little silly, but alright. Whatever. You'll de-alphabetize them. I guess. They're having a great time. This is giving me Bioshock vibes more than anything else, I feel. Yeah, I was getting that a little bit. Just just the style of the gun kind of has that. Yeah, I can definitely see it. Let's drink one of these quickly. Please don't. You have fun over there, I guess. We got some shapes to put in here. Uh, looks like it needs power. Yeah, I already got one of these. Yeah, I literally got it in my inventory. What? Hello? Uh... Game? Game. Do I have to rotate it a specific way? Uh-oh, don't fall!
Well, I'm guessing these are not going to work until power is given to that. That's a battery cell with no juice. I f really feel like they kind of need a bit better description than metal piece than in that case. Like, you gotta be able to inspect or something. I know it's a demo, but like... I don't know, that seems missing in my mind. Ricky with friends. Tools! Okay, so this must be a safe room then in that case. Here's a map. Alright, so we got a couple rooms done, and a lot in progress, apparently. Square plus two, triangle minus one, circle plus six. Oh. That's interesting. Saving and healing use the ribbon equivalent in this game, which would be the tokens. And they both use it. On harder difficulties, it costs 10 cents. I wasn't sure if you actually knew that or if you were just saying that as a joke. Uh, that was joking on that one. I, okay. If I'm right on that, that'd be nice. That would be funny, though. Fortunately, that is all of my... That's all my duct tape, so I gotta be careful now. What? Uh, I thought I was hearing that proper. They're supposed to be crazy, but man, they are wow. Muppets, uh, the Muppet equivalent. I want to know how many takes it took some of these voice actors to do what these lines. That? I need to open the door. How do I open the door? You push the handle. Well, I meant more the person that's smacking the hammer right now. Hmm. Smashy, 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 smashy! Damn, they're using some great force on that, I'll tell you that much. I almost thought that I was hearing him, like, smash to the ABCs for a bit. Hello, Mr. Hammer, I see you there. So I can't... Oh, there we go. Now the prompt's there. Episode script, episode 27, Sigma 6, Ray's Plumbing Nightmare. Ricky enters Ray's set, looking around the Ray, uh, around for Ray. Oh boy, where's Ray? 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 The room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Oh my goodness, what's happening? Ray emerges from his pipe, holding a plunger. There you are, Ray, what's going on? Ray grumbles and points with plunger. What, people are trying to get rid of their problems by flushing them down the toilet? Laundry, taxes, blackmail. Ray, these are parts of life. You can't just ignore them. Song number, don't flush away your problems. Also, the, as the song ends, the room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Ray, if we don't get this problem taken care of, won't the whole sewer system explode, destroying the entire city? Jesus. Okay.
That's why you do your taxes on water soluble paper. There we go. Ta-da! Jeez, that gave me a scare. What was that? Oh yeah, there's the other part we need apparently. Which is conveniently right there, but I'm sure the second I grab it something happens. Boy, do I have just a thing for you. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh shoot. <laughs> He's over there stretching. Hello. What's your oh, fever sure. killer? Who are you? Damn it. Are you? Oh. <laughs> I love meeting new people. Let's go and <laughs> Okay, that's new. Oh Jesus. Whoa. That's actually gonna kill us, yeah. Well, that was a new trick I didn't expect. Well then. She had good air on that. The Randolph physics are amazing. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. Don't think the Muppets here were made with hey, rags. Who's there? More so felt, but. Right, let's get our, listen, listen, you. Let's get our alt path ready for <laughs> apparently a, some a fucking clone jutsu happens again. Do I have just a thing for you? <laughs> Boy, do I have just a thing for you? What does Norman notice? Well, let's see here. Uh, we are all friendly here. Oh, oh, hey, Bye. What? Huh. You learned the alphabet? What's the alphabet? Whoa, that's easy. It's what words are made out of. You mean like the ones that Apparently that was inspired by a glitch the developer discovered during development. Oh yeah, I think I saw that on Twitter once. You know what? That would make perfect sense. And it fits perfectly. So it really does. All right, before we start fucking with this, let's get our health back. She has our inventory right now. Oh, shoot, I didn't open up. Yeah, crap, there was something in that room I didn't open up. Because we got like a candy bar and stuff there last time. Shit. Oh, well, we'll have to make do. Consider seeking asthma treatment. You should get some more exercise. Oh, that didn't save though, right? So, hmm. Candy bar was by the girl Muppet? Oh, okay. Well, I'll still go get it. Well, I guess I can do this first then. Ta-da. So that said, was it? It was plus two, minus one, and then plus six. Plus six, yeah. Correct. How do you do minus one? Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work.
Hey. We got a punch card. Punch card say anything or? I mean, it's a punch card. <laughs> oh, it's just a punch card. Okay. I think I get it. I get it. Okay, here we go. Let me just make sure that it is, in fact, right. Plus two, minus one, plus six. Each shape that you put on the punch card controls how much movement that is on the clock. So we need to get three, ten, and whatever that last one is. It looks like it might be one or nine. Okay. So that's where the that's where the minus one comes in. So for our first one, we need square, square, triangle. Maybe three. Ta-da! Yay! So now we need to figure out. Hmm. I'm guessing 10? Yeah, it's square, square, 10. circle. Or just minus triangle twice. Or triangle twice, because oh, yeah, it's minus six. two. Yeah, you had to do three, though, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Just to test your theory, though. No, it's gotta be three. Okay. So that gets us 10 there. Is it saying 11 there, or is it, or, sorry, 9 or 7 on the next one? All right, so this is, well, I assume it's the circle is what they want, because the, they're saying that, that the 9 is wrong, but it's got, uh, 7's got a circle on it, so let's assume we need 7, which is just going to be one of each shape. Ta-da! Hey, look, the door's open. Wow. Wonder how deep this goes. Oh, of course. Great ambiance here. I like it. You can jump it. And currently, there's no jump or run for that matter that I can see, so. I have no confidence in that. Well, here's a boat in a nice dark room. Well, if Resident Evil taught me anything, running or jumping is only activated by quick time events. Uh oh, <laughs> deep and stinky water! Oh no! That's a heal station, but I'm at full health right now. Nothing. Duct tape. And nothing. What's your map say? Oh, we're back over here now. Yeah, because this is the room where we got the shotgun. So this is just, well, it would be a shortcut, I guess, but. <clears throat> what you buying, stranger? Hang on, someone points out I missed a, a note back in one of these rooms.
Spoiler memo to all construction personnel. Due to the ongoing renovation of the deeper stages, a high security door has been installed to keep puppets out of the construction zone. Every employee has been issued a set of punch cards for opening the door. If you lose your punch cards, this machine can be used to generate replacements. Spooky. Don't worry, me and my twirling gun are safe, though. Uh oh, shush. Guy over there. Look at these big jaws guys got. Alright, we got a triangle door. We got a room full of puppets. And which one's gonna come alive? What do you think? All of them. I'm betting we come back in this room later when we have the key, and then suddenly, uh, none of them are there. None of them, they're all different. Or Big guy's something. gone. Oh, they're on their way. I love you, you. Oh, of course there's no power. Good time to find out. Yeah, well, we found out together. <laughs> F is for friends who do stuff together. Ow! <laughs> I was honestly expecting after that. <laughs> you is for you shot me. This gun needs a cursor. I'm out of tape. Go, 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 no! Feel that in the morning. Oh, he's in the pipes. I know he was there, I just didn't know if he actually did anything. I missed him being there the first time, so. Why do you take so many shots? Love the mice. Game sites all were in options? I did not see those. Reticle assist. Reticle assist. Why would that okay. not be on by default? Is this for atmosphere? Difficulty. I mean, do you have a reticle when you look everywhere, John? Absolutely. Thought everyone did. I'm still building mine. I got one painted on my glasses. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to make one that does auto aim for you based on the weapon? <laughs> you're using? I need painting. to auto aim my kitchen knife skills. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's also a pain in the ass to find a used Google Glass. Oh. There's actually a really cool. Um, I have no idea how far they're gonna get get with it, but there's a company that's developing a like um, a super tiny microchip that is literally just an LCD inside of a contact lens, and it's like 
genuinely one of the coolest things that I've seen in a long time. That sounds cool, but that also sounds like a nightmare for an optometrist. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 you're gonna turn around and get me. Yeah, the the way they've solved a lot of the a lot of the problems is kind of awesome. Strange kind With, of like they're basically. Box. Yeah. They're basically just like abusing the fact that the human brain is really good at focusing at a single spot and terrible everywhere around it. <laughs> oh, I gotta go to all the spots to get <sighs> that all back again. How long is the how much is left of the demo, by the way? Apparently this is the last puzzle. Four fuses then take the elevator. 10 to 15 okay. minutes, according to Prime. Should we finish it or should we just go to Cookie? Because we are at 35 minutes currently. Oh, that's a lot of finish the fights. It's a lot of finish. Oh, well, now it's starting to swing the other way. I even amount to cookie. I think we need a chat poll. Alright, run a chat poll and I'll just work on this in the meanwhile. There we go. Headshots are a little easier when you have a cursor. Grab me again. Second sixty forty, finish the fight. All right, where did it say all four of those were again? Oh, come on, you weren't there before. You open the door. Yeah, I assume that's the logic. And nothing else to pick up around here. Take the boat. Yeah. Oh yeah, people are mentioning you've only saved the one time. No, I haven't. I've saved twice. Was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Y'all just not paying attention. I mean, I just never pay attention. Because I'm really mm. bad at paying attention in general, and I'm always working on something in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to read this map, too, I'm noticing. Okay, so that's where I'm at. I think that's. I think I read that right. Yep. Okay. Dime. Oops, take that note. There we go. Diamond. You get me in there this time? Nope. All right, you're still there. I want that cowboy hat still. Damn it. Let's see here. Fastest way. Okay, going back this way seems to be the fastest way. Back to the pipes. Back to the starting room. 
I'm wondering if that was the one way door that's in here. I bet you have to unlock it. I'm just gonna slap it. No, oh, it should be that one. Directly. Should be this one. So first, make a. So cool, people say, and you can shoot the sewer grabber. Yeah, I already shot him earlier. Oh, I must have been looking away. But I don't have any um, any duct tape, so it's not like it really matters. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there we go. This save room over here had one. Right there. And since this is just a demo, might as well just save here now. And for shits and giggles. Now, what's the fastest way here? Race stage apparently still has stuff in it. Uh, really? That's gonna be the... Alright. Whatever you say, game. Don't look, he has not noticed me. He has noticed me. <laughs> Man, these stairs are really slow. The letters were going. Yeah, they they yell on a regular basis. You know how it is. Oh yeah, this room. All right. Well, as soon as I open this, you know something's gonna happen. And lights. Wow, nothing. I'm stunned. Ooh. Ooh I don't like that pausing and they're still moving. I don't like that. Ha 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 ha! I'm gonna give you a big old hug. Alright, that should be all of them. Now, is our buddy over here gonna be awake? Not yet. Alright, what was it? Diamond was... Diamond was second, club was first, and spade is last. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat the food that represents how I'm feeling at lunch. What sort of things do I eat? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> when I'm feeling happy, I eat watermelon. When I'm sad, I eat leftovers. When I'm confused, I eat the roadkill outside. When I feel I'm on the on the left on, on the leftovers part. When I'm smart, I, I think we're all the leftovers part. When I'm in a hurry, I. He's having a good time. Oh, I, don't wanna, I don't want to bother him. Huh, nothing to pick up in these, huh? Oh, there we go. No. Nope. I thought that was duct tape. Damn. Where did that put us? I think. This would be yep. that door from before. Yeah, there we go. So now we got another fast travel spot. 
Mind you, it looks like we've cleared up most of the upper area anyway, so. Yeah. Lucky survival horror and actual gameplay. What? We're in the alphabet? What's the alphabet? Oh, hmm. oh you mean like the one? Hmm. <laughs> I remember those. A is for affamilidity. B is for blestusist. C is for welcome, welcome, welcome to to our our few stop and think. <laughs> Dang! Damn it, I'm out of tape. Anything else up here to take? Look for that bookshelf, he was headbutting. Anything there? <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, where were those? Where was that lock we had to use the bolt cutters on? Do not ring that bell again. Oh, let's go fucking ring that bell again. Let's fucking go. Don't tell me what not to do. Well, well, well. A is never challenge John. B. Do I really want to see what happens when you ring that bell multiple times? Why don't we keep going? That's gonna hurt. Nothing happens because it's a demo. Damn, that was a fire mixtape you just dropped there. Apparently there's a briefcase in here or something. Yeah, someone said briefcase, but I didn't see one. Uh, top shelf by that where you got the potion. Yeah, I can't open that. <laughs> the only inspect is for right there. Trust me, one of the first places I, I tried. <laughs> Maybe it'll open if you ring the bell again! Uh, no, I'm good. So now we're back here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw a room we had to open with bolt cutters. Is there something on the stage? Mm, there's probably something. There's something we didn't pick up on the stage, yeah. But I'm pretty sure the bolt cutter room was in here. Oh God, is the stage going to have the exploding enemy still? Yeah, probably. Secret! A cheat has been unlocked. Ooh. How do I use it? How do I use it? How do I use a cheat? Cheats are new game plus. God damn it. Oh, that is it. Hey there, John here. Hi, me! <laughs> Thanks very much for playing this demo. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. MFN development is progressing fantastically. There'll be more to share soon. If you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate a wish list over on Steam. It goes a long, long way to making MFN come to life. I've got a different project you can check out, too. It's very different from this one, but it may strike your fancy. Oh, one other thing. Might be worth taking a second look around the basement. See you soon. What was what was your other project? What's the other project? New menu, cheats, modes, speedrun mode, camera mode, 
Infinite Rolodexer. Veteran. Long arms. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hang on, we're going back in. Clear! Welcome to the neighborhood. Homo Revise? <laughs> Appears to be their other well, game. No getting back up that way. Oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. Shut up, Ricky. How long are long arms? Those are pretty long. I wish this thing could shoot faster. Have some letters from the alphabet for. That got away from me, I'm sorry. Hopefully you're okay. I'm only shooting the letter A though, I noticed. Although I'm seeing N's and Z's all over the ground. Learning to spell, motherfucker. <laughs> Are you my brother Rex Racer? You tell me! I like how even this menu is moving. That was fun, though. That was cool. I didn't realize that the demo was actually up on Steam. That's awesome. This is definitely a game. I feel like they're going to need more than just, like, the the two or three Muppet types they've shown here. I mean, I'm sure but, they're going to have way more. Yeah. I, I mean, this game's probably not coming out for another... For a while. Yeah. According to the chat, Long Arms actually increases your pickup and interact range. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. In that case, let's go back to the cookie. Thanks for picking that, Jeffrey Rhinos. All right, Cocoms, we each get to pick a game. Deef, you got anything in mind? Um, I can only pick Outer Wilds, but let's continue that um, uh, game with the goat. No, sorry, the, the, the lamb. Cult of Cult the of lamb? lamb? That's what it is. Cult of the lamb. <laughs> I'm great with names. The game with the goat. Ah, yes, Cult of the <laughs> lamb on Steam. Vincent, Goal simulator. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, we'll do something at random here. Let's go. Sky Gunner PS2. Wow. Okay. That was that was really. I don't know it. I don't know anything about it. It was just first thing I kind of went to. I know. I, it, I know PS2. it's anime Ace Combat is the best way I've seen it described. If that's the game I think it is. All right, Cult of the Lamb on Steam, Sky Gunner on PS2. Our viewer choices come to us from Big O26 Shen, who says Inscription for Steam. Phase on Edge, who says Gotta Protectors Cart of Darkness for the Switch. That's that. Uh, that weird NES style game I played a while back on stream, if you remember. The one with like the top down, like Dynasty Warriors like game, where you have a moving castle that you have to get to the end of stages. And you have like the chubby Amazon, the uh, the naked ninja, the old man with the potty, and et cetera, et cetera. Done by the guys who created uh, Act Razor. Major Mooch says, because Kid Ark deserves that win, damn it. Rogue Galaxy for the PS2. Keyboard. Mm -hmm. uh, and Zero Runitia 9 says, Final Fantasy 9 for the PS1. Well, gotta give my favorite game a shot. I think people were really excited that we had. Uh, RPGs available on this by the looks of it. All right, Cult of the Lamb, Sky Gunner, Inscription, God of Protectors, Card of Darkness, Rogue Galaxy, and Final Fantasy IX, alongside the following three games. Game number one, Senran Kagura Peach Ball on Switch. What the hell is this cookie on tonight? 
Game number two. Crash Super Pack for the GBA. That's a couple different Crash Bandicoot games in one. And last but not least for this round of cookie, a boy and his blob for the Wii. Dedicated hug button. I still can't believe Senra Kagura is okay for Twitch. Yeah, it's, it's, there's no actual nudity. It's just, you know, they're still dressed. And if there is nudity, it's covered up. So it technically is fine. It is not the um, Sakura games. The Sakura games do not uh, are not allowed on Twitch. All right, we got our games. Here comes the poll. Let's see what we're playing next. There are a lot of RPGs on this list. I guess technically only two, because I forgot Inscription is not one. But let's see what happens here. Currently in the lead. Oops. Did those in the wrong order. Currently in the lead is Cult of the Lamb! 106 votes, 29% of the vote. Senran Kagura Peach Ball is in second place. 84 votes, 20% of the vote. A boy in his blob for the Wii. 52 votes. Actually, no. Inscription is in third place now. 50, 58 votes, 12%. Boy in his blob, 55 votes, 11%. Final Fantasy 9, 37 votes, 7%. Rogue Galaxy, 28 votes, 5%. Sky Gunner, 18 votes, 3%. Crash Super Pack, 17 votes, 3%. And poor God of Protectors, Card of Darkness in last place. 9 votes, 1%. Shame on that one. 533 votes clock so far. Cult of the Lamb currently leads over Senran Kagura Peach Ball. 173 to 141. One minute on the clock. Let's see what happens. Stop! I've actually seen nothing of Cult of the Lamb. It has Twitch integration, which is why I think people are pushing for it, because we played it like last week. That's actually how we started the stream last week was with Call to the Lamb. Mm -hmm. But you can uh, you can have the uh, the viewers become your cultists, so that's probably why it's got a big push. And it's a pretty good game from what I've seen. Yeah. I mean, I'm just a mm -hmm. fan of like city builder management style games, so also it's cute. Everyone's playing it right now. I think that's kind of why, though, people want it. It definitely has the Isaac-like stuff, too, but I'm, I'm more so a fan of the management games, which is why I selected it. Which is hilarious, because that's nice. not where you spend most of your time. Alright, Cult of the Lamb it is! Oh, Alright, let's drop some eggs. Next game choice is coming from Striker Spark Official, Jake Monroe, TBG Hunter, and Xenomanga. This is the RPG night based on this list. Okay, there's another two RPGs coming up in the next vote. Let's drop some eggs. <laughs> Sorry. I almost played that Kamehameha clip again. Uh... <laughs> Zypher Dragon Lord for 90, Xanta the Hollow for 65, Agent Wright 2010 for 6, Flark Blarg for 22, Alice the Dense for 36, JT Average for 18, Luvital for 78, Red Lion Official for 2, Angelic Knighthood for 23, Portal Beard for 31, Dust the Hedgehog 711 for 17. Nice, backwards. John, what's your favorite Dragon Ball transformation? Uh. Probably just, the, I like the the first Super Saiyan transformation because I thought that was cool. But I like the Super Saiyan God su Super Saiyan because I just love how stupid the name is. And, uh, shit, what was the one? Perfect Cell is definitely a nice glow up. Uh, Hugo Sheehan for 92. Soul Flare Kia 2020 for 2. Sergeant Shadow 17 for 21. Zra for 46. Chris M543 for 21. Radiant Shadow 92 for 32. Who says happy birthday? Happy birthday, Radiant! 
Psychosis by Osmosis for 61. Hey, it's Frisky for 19. Techno Hornets for 46. Adam.png for 44. Silver Aces for 12. Orange Man 04 for 5. Silver Blaze for 31. Inukun 7 for 67. Majora Curse for 22. Gamer Mooney for 78. Kung Fu Cutman for 16. Lazy Cat Rye for 30. Mega Latino 000 for 105. Sonic Bot 1 for 20. And Earthly, or is this Earth 2Y? I assume Earthly is the point, for 7. Alongside Devil Kitty 1 for 64. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... The Farmer's Market. Uh, well, in the carton, we've only got one in here. And it's from Private Butter. John's words of dream buffet wisdom. What? Say that ten times fast. Oops. Oh, well, that's the wrong button. Sorry. That's the button I'm looking for. Go! Just fucking go! <laughs> Don't wait! Ride the bacon! You heard the man, ride the bacon. All right, we're gonna go to break when we come back. Cult of the Lamb, and yes, uh, I'm gonna turn back on the Twitch integration. I don't know if that means you need to refresh your stream or not. I'm gonna say don't right away, but if it doesn't show up, we'll see. Back in a bit. Questions, chat. Uh, Oops, I missed a uh, dude. We'll do dude when I get back. Draco asked for a duke. We'll do that when I get back. Management slash sim game. How far back are we going? <laughs> sim um, City 2000. Yeah. Um, if if we are going my entire history, uh, Moon Tycoon is one of my beloved games. Um. Any fun media? Uh, I just I'm finishing up Mr. Robot right now. I've been yeah, I've been wanting to watch that forever, and I've heard good things about it, and it's held up to what I've heard. <laughs> How we feel about Bobo? I'm actually not a fan of Bobo. I don't think, I don't remember if I had Boba when I went to Toronto or, but as far as I can personally remember, I don't think I've had it. I may have had it once, but I don't remember. It can be an acquired taste, so. What would I do for a Klondike bar? Probably pay four fifty. Depends on how hot it is. And if I'm hungry. Uh, most difficult Metroidvania. I actually haven't played a lot of them myself, so... I guess, by what I have played, I guess Bloodstained uh, Nightmare Mode was a bit of a challenge for me. Okay, people are saying uh, rank, uh, the, the LAM extension actually is working right away. Perfect. So you don't need to refresh. Hooray. I am both unsurprised and completely surprised that we automatically, automatically load that on change. <laughs> if you would to shiny hunt, which Pokemon game would you shiny hunt? Depends if you want the challenge of going full odds, or if you want to increase your chances. Yeah. If I were go to do a shiny hunt, I would probably try to go for something on um, the original gold, because that is the first Pokemon game that I really got into. Yep, same here. And yeah, unfortunately, extensions aren't on mobile. Um, one of the things about mobile development that actually really, really sucks is that Apple and Google are really, really restrictive on your ability to just, like, load arbitrary code in. You have to get your apps reviewed, and extensions are literally arbitrary code. Like, Twitch does a really good job at reviewing them themselves, which is why 
I know about this process because I've looked into the process of developing a Twitch extension. Um, but it's like, at that point, you've got like three layers of, of code review that have to go through, and it's... It just sucks. So, I don't see any third-party extensions coming to mobile potentially ever unless unless there's legislation to like really change what Apple and Google can do on the App Store. Oh, is there a channel points option? Hmm? Oh, there is. Cool. Yeah, here, I gotta turn that back on. I had it paused. There we go. Should work again now. is ready to go. Let's quickly do alerts. Radiant Shadow says, It is now officially my birthday! Donating for the luck, because I could really use it right now. Thanks for all the joy you've brought me over the years. No worries, Radiant. Happy birthday. And thanks for reminding me that we have that alert, because I legit, it doesn't get activated very often, so I'm like, oh, fuck, why do we hear myself? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Legend of Daniel says, so would put a new game, uh, would a new game plus on a demo be called the new demo plus? Eh, I think it still counts as new game plus because game is referring to save in that case. Mm -hmm. But I see where you're coming from. Ariel and thank you for the this gifts up on. This is a present from me to you. Look at your left. What? <laughs> well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. Bleach Bummer says, Greetings, John. How you been? I just got my license to operate an electric ladder at my work this week, as well as beat my first run of Digimon Survive. Doing a new game plus run because I have to, sadly. Not sure if reason why is considered a spoiler, but it will confirm it's not because I'm 100%ing the game. But aside from that, despite some issues, both legit and personal, with the game, I think it's 100% worth experiencing for the best Digimon story to date, IMO. Side note, the main theme and title theme of Digimon Survive is really making me want to relearn piano, which I haven't played since my senior year of high school's piano recital finals. That was back in 2011. Where despite practicing <clears throat> Paul Ducasse's The Sorcerer's Apprentice a lot that I was able to memorize it perfectly, I had a nervous breakdown to the point I forgot nearly everything and broke down in tears. Oh no. Thank you people applauded my efforts for trying since many knew I practiced and my teacher hugged me and assured me I was still going to pass the class. Oh, Bleach, I'm sorry you went through that. I can see why you wouldn't want to touch piano after that, though. Hopefully you're alright, though. Yeah, music recitals can get you. Yeah, I, I've i spent... I've been in plenty of music recitals, but like, thankfully they were not solo ones. They were always, like, band, so it was, like, it was more group stress than solo stress. But I can feel you on that. <clears throat> and the last one I had... Sorry, the last one I have here is from Cult that says, Remember, people, boobs are temporary. You're in the cult forever. <sighs> I sense some bias here, but maybe that's just me. Sorry, Deepa, didn't mean to cut you off. What were you going to say? I was just going to say when I was learning piano, my piano teacher wanted me to do recitals, and that caused me to stop because I wanted to learn piano to have fun, not to perform in front of other people. So, I, I definitely get having a recital go like that. I think the problem is usually when uh, you get taught as a kid any sort of music, the expectation is that you're going to use it to perform. And so you they want to prepare you for performing in front of a group. So, like, I remember, like, doing jazz band and, like, standard band in grade school. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to have, like, all the classes have, like, a music recital, so you have the okay with performing on stage as a group. Stuff like that, so. Mm -hmm. Always when happens. I in, when I was in choir, like, a, a tour in choir, um, in middle school and high school, I had a heck of a time, but then once I got to my senior year, I just got burnt out on it because it became more of a job of, I have to do this to perform more than... I'm doing this to enjoy myself. So. 
All right. Before we hop into Art Block, Philip Draco wants the wisdom of Duke Nukem. Ah, uh, fuck this clown. Are we, say are we <laughs> saying that to to Draco? Are you insulting you insulting Draco because he keeps making the Dukes? New Dukes. No, he's got giving him a fight. Draco, fuck this clown. Is he saying that about Duke? Is Duke calling himself a clown? I can't even tell anymore. Am I the clown? <laughs> Who's the clown? We're all are, clowns are, here. Are the slow bros, the slow pokes in the background, are they the clowns? It's very complicated. All right, let's go to Art Block. Art Block starts with, with paintings. <laughs> but Dr. Hamph! <laughs> Paglizzi! Oh, God damn it. I'm so happy people keep bringing that up. <laughs> From Alex Nerd. Uh, you did good, kid. Here, it's on me. That's a big stack of pancakes. That's Rosa's breakfast there, man. You better appreciate it, Kirby. Especially with that tiny fork you got. Rosa sharing her pancakes with Kirby. Why is it Kirby still hungry after a race when you eat? Uh, uh, where does he have a fork? Or why does he have a fork when he's just gonna inhale it? These are the questions. He also, can be proper sometimes. Eh, sometimes. Well, he's probably gonna, like, he's, Kirby's the kind of guy who would use a fork to pick up the entirety of the stack of pancakes at once. That is exactly what he would do. Yeah. So, yeah. So he's gonna use that tiny fork and then just carry that entire stack around with him. Thank you, Alex Nerd. And you're still working on drawing boobs. Sorry, the perspective on them is a bit weird. It's all right. It's all learned experience. Don't sweat it. You did good. Thank you, Alex. Next up. <laughs> this is what I was laughing at earlier. Art reaction image is great. I appreciate this. I appreciate this a lot. <laughs> Beautiful. It's perfect. Thanks, Alita. Next up. From Chloe, Chloe, a quick sketch doodle for the new Kirby game. PD seems to be having fun. Rose and Pon Pon, less so. Either way, hope y'all enjoy. I mean, considering the giant teeth, I could see that uh, not being on the enjoyment scale. Um, although Pon Pon's more mad that she's dead. Again. Thank you, Chloe. Next up, from Mimo Riru. So I messaged, I mentioned in the sub server I sent Cubo a list of big booby Digimon because reasons. And for some reason, they weren't surprised. And even Bleach was like, listen, I'm sure you're gonna draw Rosa as one of them. And look, listen, I'm a triple A battery. Triple A battery is just a fun way to call myself aromantic, asexual, and agender all at once. Okay? Do you think for one moment I get horny? I mean, ignore my previous post, Mr. Wheeler. Do you think I get horny? I Look, it's because I know of your previous posts that I know the answer is yes. But ignoring that, you know yourself, even though you're ace. Still happens, that just means it's infrequent. You know as well as I do. Have Tinker Rosamon, one of the Digimon on my list. Thank you, Mimo. It's a very nice outfit, actually. It's super cool. <laughs> Bleach is a chat like, I knew you would. Next up, from Red Reaper 66 Man, if I had a nickel for each game character I blew up, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it's happened twice. Also, this one is far more cursed. Yup, there it is. <laughs> oh. Why did I make this? Well, if I did this to myself, you all get to share it with me. Now, please, just pass me the unsee juice, please. This is, see, this is why Rosa wears a bra, because that helps keep the round shape, usually and keep them off the floor, usually. <laughs> You're a Proton John fan, who are you fooling not being horny? My god. All right. I had to stop from, oh, don't worry, Red Reaper, you did good, thank you so much. Next up. Oh, there it is, there it is, from Rhyme. Oh, trust me, John, the chubby Rosa was coming for me at some point tonight because I cannot resist with all the cake and donuts and burgers and cookies and, and, and help, I'm hungry. I am now too, so I guess that helps. Well, good news, there's enough stage left for Rosa at least, but uh, I think we're gonna have to go like order a pizza or something. So, God, I want pizza. I had pizza rolls earlier. God damn it, I want pizza. Thanks, Rhyme. <laughs> Next up, from Cole. Was it necessary to make Kirby this big? You said make him bigger, you didn't specify how big. 
Dedede found out about Kirby's tiny situation and asked Rosa to make the puffball bigger. Penguin King got uh, more than he expected. At least Kirby's happy. Why would Dedede want to make Kirby bigger? I feel like that's the opposite of what he usually wants. Well, at least DDD now gets to run around using Kirby as a Katamari. I guess. Maybe that's why. He wanted him normal size. Eh. Why, so again, still, why would he want that? He has an easier time when he's tiny. Usually. Thank you, Cole. And the last piece I got here. Oh, bigger. But they won at least from Cubed Off. Thank you, random chat member who has thus dubbed this Rosa Roundza. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Roundza. You will forever be the reason why they will be tagged as such. No regrets. None whatsoever. In all seriousness, hope everyone's having a good weekend, and as always, round is good. <laughs> I always love that the round picture has come from Cubed Off, of all people. Thank you for the big round, Cubed. I'm glad you're having some fun tonight. And with that, I like folks, the Nift Kirby. Oh, there is one more. From Tealestity, I'm keeping him. Poyo! Aww. Wanted to do something after the Dream Buffet section at the start, and also wanted to draw Rosa, so here's both of those things. Curb must have had a lot of strawberries in that last race. He's so happy, though. It's very cute. Thank you, Teal. And with that, folks, that's our block. Let's go continue a cult, because we've already started it before. Cult of the Lamb, has there been an update? No, that is not the word I need to type in to find that game. Oops. <laughs> Controller on, game on. I know what you typed. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I have a guess. You, your finger dropped down a row. <laughs> no, you don't! <laughs> Apparently there's just a game on Twitch just labeled Cult, apparently. Uh, okay, so why is this not giving me the option? Did we have to use Game of Game No Work last time? Nope, there it is. Perfect. We're good. Yeah, that was- I don't know even know where that came from, I apologize. Alright. Cult of the Lamb. We are on day three, we had five worshippers, four beds, and no deaths yet, but no heretics have also been defeated yet. It's like that time I had to spell milk in one of the games we were playing and I accidentally spelled milf. Felt really, really dumb when I realized I had done that. All right. I like this art style. We've got the Tunneling Cat, Kim the Dark One, Rexinator, and Brookery. Those are our four viewer cultists. Yeah, but I said we had five. Who did I miss? Or does it count myself? Crazy dude, this has, like, seriously strong Isaac vibes. Like, Literally half of the game is Isaac-esque. Leader, I am famished. I fear I have become naught but skin and bones. I beg of you, is there anything to eat? Yeah, I'll make some food. What you want? You want one of them hearty meat broths? 25% chance of dropping valuable resources, but 50% chance of the follower pooping instantly. Have some food. All right, let's see if we get an instant poop. It's like the equivalent of gas station sushi. Well, no pooping. You're getting surprisingly lucky on these rolls. I am surprised too. I knew you could do it, you are truly divine. Yay! All right, have we already done our daily tasks inside the church? Turn my timers. Can't do our rituals yet because we don't have any bones. And I don't have anything to put into these. Alright, 
Bees are growing. Do they need water? No, they're good. You know, guys, exhibition cult still does nothing. <laughs> just, just a heads up on that. Oh, there's some poop. I love how someone did interrobang cult. <laughs> Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed, rest, or they could die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illnesses to spread quickly throughout your cults. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Oh. So now we have a cleanliness meter. Unfortunately, uh, something else is not clean. Pooping wasn't unlocked yet, then. We just unlocked pooping, pooping, yes. There's the other poop. Get that shit out of here, literally. At least you've got more fertilizer now. True. I'll worry about farms a little later. Oh, there is we go. Kitsukaito, that's the person we were looking for. Is 45 your next unlock, or is that your maximum that you can hold? That's my next unlock. Okay. I need don't have enough money to build a sleeping bag, so one of my followers has to sleep on the floor. Actually, wait, uh, Kitsu, I think, actually has the one that just lets them stay awake, right? I think I gave that to them. Not sure. Well, while they're sleeping, I'm gonna make them a surprise meal. And just leave it on the ground for them. Because, you know, that's probably healthy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go murder some things. Have fun! Here godly blood was spilled. Here did death no longer wish to wait. What am I playing this on? This is the Steam version. All right. Touch of Tura one Convoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles. So that's our magic spell. And our weapon this time is the Bane Sword 1, coated in the bile of a beast long forgotten. Damage 1.2, speed 1. Chains of poisoning enemy. Nice. That's pretty fast. Well, that was fast. All right, that works. All right, if we see any skeletons, we gotta make sure we break them because that's how we get uh, bones for rituals. I really hope they eventually make a skeleton in the closet joke. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at all those bones up there. Unfortunately, I can't get the background ones. No, I know. What a bummer, because that would really solve that issue right away. <laughs> Oh, this looks... Ah, that'd be why. So it is true, the red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to... That is not. We need not bother Shamara with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. Ah, it's murdering time. Morbin time. All right, I've got weapons that have poison element on them. Well, we're gonna have plenty of skeletons at this point. Yep, there we go, got enough bones. Perfecto. Or or grant organic, free-range, grass-fed bones. <laughs> Ooh, lots of bones. The moment after you complete your 25 bones required quest. Yeah, and now they're not actually giving me any. <laughs> None of those gave me Aww, any. Aw, that sucks. 
At least you're getting grass, though. Oops, that's the end. Uh, at least I think that's the end. Is that the end? It looks like. Looks endless to me. Yep, there we go. Let's draw a tarot card. What do we got? Fervor's Harvest. Enemies will drop double the fervor or gain an extra half a heart. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's get let's get magic. All right, what do we pass here? This one gets us a follower. This just gets us double money. That's food and that's rocks. Hmm. I think I kind of want the follower personally. Double money is tempting though, and it does go to the question mark. Let's get the follower. They're all dead. Oh lord, how could I? Again? Do you see it in me? The darkness in my soul? I absolve you. Join me. Thank you, this is a master. This is the third family I've killed this week. Well, let's put that murder into good use. Follower awaits indoctrination. Uh, I have bad news. If that was a horse, which I do believe it was, uh, that's being named Lucagen, because that is exactly what Reese wanted, and we couldn't do it last time. You should be able to get at least a second run in, though, right? Well, no, I'm going to get a second follower when I defeat the boss up there, so at least there will be one viewer one. Yeah, fair. Oh, right. Each run is multiple levels. Okay. Let's do some stone. All right. Combat time. And that was combat. <laughs> <laughs> You can still tell we're still pretty early in a game. I wish I could fight my demons that fast. If only. Oops, whip that shot. Whip that shot! Didn't miss that one, though. I got golden nuggets. Woo! Having poison on my weapon's also helping a lot, I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. I love how time still progresses while you're in the dungeon. I think that's really cool. Well, it kind of forces you to put a rush on things, too. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it turns time into a resource, which normally I'm not a fan of, but I feel like in this kind of game... New hmm. spell. I feel like in this kind of game... Like, where time is specifically a thing, you sit around... Like, where you specifically sit around waiting for your minions to farm resources. Like, I, I think they stumbled upon, or ran headfirst into, intentionally, a really good combination. I'll take this. 10% chance of negating damage. That's it for this run. Acquired dirt flooring! Only the finest dirt! <laughs> Better than rocky flooring. Goes right next to my mosaic tiles. <laughs> Someone remind me there was a dedicated Bob button. <laughs> Steal more devotion. I'll have enough yeah, when I get back. When you get back. Yeah. I said something about that fireball exploding. But... You gotta hold the button. Oops, thank you. 
That's what I was doing wrong. Another spell? The tentacles level three! <laughs> <laughs> Well, apparently, the game is making some decisions for us today. I really want to see what that does. I wish they gave you, like, free casts when you first get a spell so you can see what it was. Uh, you do, I think. Look the exact same, unfortunately. <laughs> that did a lot of damage, I'll say that much. Devolver put out a tweet responding to a interesting question about how a Texan company like DD could release a game about heresy and the response was our savior the dark lord requested it so yeah no I saw that that was that was pretty funny that's a very devolver answer devolver is devolver is a company they do a very good job at we're a very entertaining company all right, what do we got? Divine Curse. Curses consume 25% less fervor or death's door. When hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt two damage. Eh, let's get more spells. The flock is ready for another sermon. Barbatos. There we go. That's going to do some nice damage. My travel agent said I was going to Barbados. This isn't what I had in mind. That tentacle spell is actually doing pretty good damage. Old to assume I can read, Jester. Also, bold to assume the fine print is legible. It was covered in blood. Mm -hmm. There we go. Click all the little dots around you first. Kitty. Not quite. Okay, all right. That is a style of follower you get. That's great. Five stones, eight berry bush seeds, or 13 lumber. I choose the seeds. And then here's a bunch of other shit we got. Alright, three locks done on that door. Let's go back to the cult. Oh, are we gonna get to actually fight, fight one of the gods today? I hope so. We might! I mean, we still got like a minimum 16 minutes left. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff out of that. What's up? Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold. You can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Read mind. Follower command unlock. Interact with followers to read their thoughts as well as see how hungry, tired, or sick they are. This chat's too horny to have their minds read. <laughs> Boobs, 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 butts, chest, abs, dicks, boobs, butt. You have declared a doctrine which has granted you a new follower action. When interacting with followers, this action will be available to you. Okay. Bye, boss. Cult of the Egg Farm. Followers are inspired by your successful crusade. Let's collect your totem rewards. So this is what doing the, the Twitch thing does. You got us. 
A Twitch logo! Acquired a stone flag. A stone pillar to raise your flag. We got a little decoration. Yay. Also, you got like a shit ton of devotion, so let's 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 get that. Okay, before we can do anything else, we have to build. I guess which one did we not do? I guess it was body pits. Oh, we didn't do either one, so we can do a farming bundle or body pits. Farming bundle is farmer station. Farmer stations allow followers to water nearby crops and seed silo. Put seeds here for your followers to sow. And body pits are exactly what they sound like. Bury dead followers in a simple pit. Avoids rotting corpses. Most people are saying so, farming. How good do you think you are at keeping your followers alive, basically? <laughs> uh, well, I would hope with food, we would do a decent job. All right, that unlocks the next row of cult, too. So now once next, next divine inspiration, we can unlock the next part of the tree. Upgrade temple and shrine, collect more devotion, and allow fo more followers to pray. Okay. Sure. Pretty close to it, Oh, people are hungry. Let's make some food. I mean, it has been a day and a half. Eh, that's fair. We have about five people here. That should help. Proton John has a very comprehensive liability insurance policy. <laughs> Alright, eat up, folks. You might have to poop after, but eat up. I'll clean up your poop in the meanwhile, I guess. Oh, nope. Kids who pooped immediately. I think we got all the poop. Oh, no, you're right. That is definitely a donkey. I think Reese will still be okay with that, right? What do you guys think? Should we give Reese the donkey, or should we wait, f see if there's an actual horse? Because I think this might be the closest we're getting a horse for a while. Uh, I'm torn, because I know she'd like it, but I also want to wait for a horse. Just holler upstairs, hey, honey! I mean, this looks like a horse, too. Like. It's horse adjacent. If you get a horse afterwards, you can name it actual Luca. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the variations. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Well, those, those definitely, that definitely looks like a horse. That's very horse. Luca, but for real this time. Yeah, these these seem pretty horse. I'm I'm pretty sure this is a horse. It just happens that it, the color it started on was what most people consider a donkey color. Orange for maximum horse. <laughs> I think I think she wanted to be red for redhead. Fair enough. I believe that's what she wanted. She, uh, she might want this. I'm not sure if she wants the spots or not. I think she'd go with the spots. I'm gonna message her quickly here. I was gonna say, is she still awake? You could have her come down and design her own character. <laughs> Messenger to see if she gets back to me. She's probably playing 14 right now, if I had to guess. Give it the spots for now. And that's the form we want. I know there is a unicorn later on, but that's like way later, I'm assuming. Also, I remember hearing something about it being DLC in passing. I think people were unsure on that last time. Okay. Traits, cynical, 50% harder to level up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, someone said they don't have DLC, but got the unicorn. 
This is confirmed to Horus according to the Wikipedia. All right, there you go. Give her a couple seconds to respond. I think she's a little busy. Red horse. Oh, she Yum. just messaged me. God damn it. <laughs> but at least she said, make it red for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can do. It's me, she said. You know, you can go do some worship, Reese. Hi, Reese. Hey, Reese. This, this is you. This is horse you. You got little spots and everything. Let's read your, let's read your mind. You're cynical. You're cynical, babe. I'm sorry. That was just what happened. She's not. <laughs> Don't you dare sacrifice me. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's run a raffle for this one, though. For Barbados. All right. So if you are on the desktop version of Twitch, or if you're watching on mobile in your browser, not in the app, you should see some text on screen right now that says, and, like, join Proton John's cult or something like that, or cult of the egg farm. It is not overlaid. It's not actually part of the screen. If it's below, like, the end raffle button, that is actually a button you can click on your screen. Pressing that will enter you into this raffle, and it will message one of you to actually customize your character and enter, enter the cult. I has no bed. I will fix. There will be a bed. Don't worry. Here, Xeno Kid, put this on. You should see something like this. This pop up down here, the second half. This is what you should see. All right. 313 of you so far entered. Let's give you a couple more seconds. Make sure you give the extension access to your account. Manage access is what you want to click. Also, Exclamation Cult does nothing, just so you know. It never did anything. It's just one of those Twitch memes that happened. Exclamation Cult does nothing. See, the more people you tell about, the more people click on it, which is why it becomes a meme. That's just how it works. Ending raffle, Kid Ark Storm! Congratulations, welcome to the cult, Kid Ark. All right, Kid Ark should see, and they're doing it right now, they can customize their character to make them look however they want, out of what we've unlocked so far anyways. There should be some extra ones as well. I believe there are like uh, special skin options you get unlocked as well if you get picked by the raffle. Did I need to add the extension to my channel? No, you don't need to add the extension to your channel. You just have to give it access if you're, you're like clicking on underneath. Okay, there's currently... <laughs> there's currently a poll running in chat right now. What does exclamation cult do? And all the options are exclamation cult. Every single one. I know the game's not moving right now. That'll fix that in a second, but I just want you to see this. Because that's, yeah. That's all you see there. Damn Colt winning. I was hoping Colt would have won. Are you my brother Rex Racer? <gasps> you are his brother. I can see the rest Yay! of the Alright, there we go. Trades for Kid Ark Storm. Strong constitution. Heals 50% faster when sick and in bed rest. Natural skeptic on recruiting follower. Immediately lose 10 faith. What? Wow. And cynical. 50% harder to level up. Man, we got all the cynics in our cult. All right, uh, go make some devotion. Go do some worshiping. That is not what I asked you to do, but all right, we'll roll with it. <laughs> uh, let's make two more beds, I think is what we needed. That's a little picky, but I'm trying to put that. Someone gets to sleep on the rocks.
Oh no, we were one bed shy. I actually need to uh, still build one more. One more. Someone gets to sleep behind the bush! Alright, what else do we have here as options here? Right, we gotta do these. Let's build a farmer station. Farmer station allows followers to water nearby crops. Is there some setting I need to click in order for the raffles to work on my end? You just need to let the, uh, yeah, you need to manage connection. Like, it should say, like, let the, uh, let the connection, the extension, connect to your identity. Or, like, read your identity. Just try to, it seems that using desktop browser on mobile does not get the link to work. So that's weird, because people told us last time that actually did work. So I don't know what to it's tell you. probably gonna depend... Um, it's probably going to depend on, like, what phone you're on and what browser you're using. Uh, I was going like to say, or, Android. Uh, or if you have to go in, like, your, the settings, uh, and switch the desktop mode on whatever bro. Cult upgraded! We did it! Hooray! Now let's go, uh... Oh wait, hang on. What's up, Rexinator? In times are tough, we can cook grass meals! Followers won't like it, but it beats starving! Try it now! Make Rexinator eat grassy gruel! Alright, sure, if you want. That's a little weird, but alright. Why do I feel like... 25% 20, 20 chance of causing illness and minus 5 faith! So basically, you're making him a meal to lose five faith, or making him lose, what was it, 35? 35, yes, yeah, so you gotta lose five faith or 35. But I think I gained some faith from doing the mission, so I think it like still balances out. Hopefully. You enjoying that grass? You enjoying that grass you, you yourself wanted to eat? You honor me, great leader, I am eternally grateful. All right, whatever. <laughs> Tunneling cat. Yuck, this place is gross. If you don't clean this up, someone will get sick. Uh-oh. There must be a lot of poop somewhere. Alright, let's go do a sermon. All right, sermon first and foremost. Come here, the the word of the Lamb. The word of Ba. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! And let's do a ritual. Bonfire ritual. Light the fires and let us dance deep into the night. Dance party. <laughs> this raven lit. Yay! Crosser thresholds achievement unlocked. No, oh, I don't have a new one of those yet. Damn. All right. Indoctrination, indoctrinated followers is well and good, but there's so much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings for them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are totally loyal to you, they will give you everything they own. Watch as I show you. You, follower, come back in here. Tunneling cat. Increase the followers' loyalty to level them up, and they will reward you with devotion and a commandment stone fragment. Each time a follower levels up, they will generate additional devotion when at a sermon or worshiping at the shrine, so be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase their loyalty, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, perform sermons, and many other actions. The more loyal followers you have, the stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I will show you the how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. I'm over here. In the lonely shack. 
<laughs> Same. Oh. Let's Moon talk Knight, to everyone. Sure. Uh, let's give them a blessing. <laughs> Bless my wife. Bless you. Bless you. You did I get Kid Ark already? Yes, I did. Okay. Everyone's got their blessings. I think. Because Tunneling Cat got the tutorial one, so they shouldn't need one. You honor me, great leader. I am eternally grateful. Oh, hi. Well, that was nice. I didn't even do anything. Oh, that was the mission from earlier, right. And have an extra blessing. Whoop! Their heart exploded. The tunneling cat level two! Alright, so I've got one of these, but I forget if I actually need them in here to do this. Oh, yep, sorry guys. Sorry to wake you up. Sustenance one, instruct them on the liturgy surrounding their daily bread. Possessions one, preach on the value of earthly goods. Law and order one, teach them the true meaning of obedience. Work and worship one, have them pr uh, proffer both labor and love. And afterlife one, reassure them that death is not the end. Punish sin or celebrate virtue. Murder follower unlocks the murder follower action. A simple solution to many problems, but some followers may find this upsetting if they're awake to witness it. Ascend follower ritual. Perform a ritual at your temple in which you can ascend a follower spirit to a higher plane of existence. All followers gain loyalty. Uh, that seems like the better one to get. Oh, that's neat. Form a virtual at your temple in which you can ascend a follower's spirit to the higher plane of existence. All followers gain loyalty. All right. Well, there we go. We got one. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Go on back to bed, everybody. Y'all be fine. Don't worry. Yeah, have a good nap. Except for you. <laughs> Except for Kitsu. You don't ever need to sleep again. Day six, the flock is ready for another sermon. Well, so much for going to see that boss, unfortunately. I know we just had a sermon the other day, but you know, I could you could use you could use some more. Thank you. Alright, do we want Curse of the Horde? Three new curses will appear on your crusades, or do we want Might of the Devout One? Increase the starting level of weapons. Oh, yeah, no, we want that. <laughs> when you begin a new crusade. <laughs> oh, 100 percent worth. Oh, 
Ah. Well, good job, everybody. All right, you know what that calls for. Everyone gets a blessing! You look a little tired, but you're doing all right. Oops. Okay, good. I did select it. Hey, sorry to interrupt your praying, but yeah, you need some blessings, too. Alright, that was... six. Who got missed? Or was that all seven? Nope, Tunnel Cat, I think, got missed. Nope. I guess that was everyone, never mind. More food. Oh, I got a, a pumpkin seed patch, all right. And more berries and that, there we go. Water, water. Water, poop, poop, and pooped. Uh, how's people doing for food? Let's make them a good old basic berry bowl. That might make people poop, but let's go for it. There you go, enjoy the food. I'll clean up the poop. And it looks like that's all the poop. Never mind, more poop. Mm, I don't know about all this. If you were a truly great leader, wouldn't this place look nicer? Build decorations. Okay. What should we build for decorations? We have the Twitch flag thing, don't we? We do have the Twitch flag thing. Will this count if we just do three of these next to each other in the corner? Oh my god! <laughs> I put three rocks right next to the entrance! That'll- that'll appease you! Done and done! Rex and everybody, yeah, I got your mission done. I guess that's a bit better. <laughs> Give me your hearts. Sorry about the typing, guys. Rex and now level two. Oh, but now we've got a food issue. Hang on. We gotta build some stuff, then we'll go to Cookie. We're not gonna be able to do any other uh, missions, it looks like. We're good for beds. Let's build a couple more farm plots. There we go, we should be good for berries and food now. With that. Is there anything else we can build, or is that all we're gonna be able to do right now? That's all we can do right now, unless I want to put down some of those good old-fashioned dirt paths. Only the finest dirt. Do you have to assign people to do work for the farm, or...? Um, I forget if I have to assign it, or if they just kind of do it. I know they'll build automatically. I think everyone's pooping everywhere. Plenty of fertilizer.
You do have those sign? Okay. Would you like to work on the farm? Here, you can do the rest. Or you can leave, apparently. Okay, well, then I'll go ahead and do this. <coughs> there we go. All that is done and dusted. I think that's all the progress we're going to be able to make. To, right, or maybe we should wait till we get the last. Oh, Reese wants to do garden. Okay, you know what? That's fair. That is entirely fair. Except there's no tasks available at the farm currently, so... You're telling cat, I need you to go pray. All right, what'd you guys get us this time? Steak! It's a lot of food options, damn. Oh, we're just shy of money to build the seed silo, god damn it. All right, well, we'll have to build that next time because we're out of cash. Let me clean up the poop that someone made, apparently. And that, I think, is all we're going to be able to do here now. Bird, get out of here. Knock it off. Save. And let's go to the cookie. All right, let's do it. Thanks for picking that, Deef. Although now you're sitting out this round. Works for me. Let's roll back into Cookie. Wrong one. Vincent, what you got for us? Uh. You can stick with your game, or you can mix it up. What do you want to do? Uh, we'll mix it up, but go ahead and get the other one loaded up first. I didn't. Okay, I'll get the viewer choices in. Meanwhile, our viewer choices come to us from Striker Spark Official, who asks for Azure Striker Gunvolt Striker Pack, aka Gunvolt Two, for Switch. Oh, this mark is Azure Striker Gunvolt Two. For Switch. Jake Monroe says, Metal Saga for the PS2, because we need more JRPGs with tanks. TBG Hunter says, Battalion Wars for the GameCube. The third-person shooter spin-off of uh, Advance Wars. And Xenomanga says, how about Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster? Good luck. I believe I have that on the Switch. All right, those are our four viewer choices. You need a bit more time, Vincent, or are you good? Uh, let's do Redux Dark Matters. What? You should have that on Dreamcast. Okay, thank you. Deep, the search feature looks like it's working right away now, by the way. So that change you made there, seems to work. There is one thing that I do need to change on it. I need to fix it so that it doesn't lag out when you search, like, at all. Okay. Because theoretically, like, typing 100 characters super fast might lag it out still, but... Gotcha. All right, so we've got five games here. We've got Redux Dark Matters, Azure Striker Gunvolt 2, Metal Saga, Battalion Wars, Shin Megami Tensei 3, Nocturne HD, and the following four games to give us nine choices. Game number one. God damn it. <laughs> Don't vote on that. Oh, I got to remake it all. Piss and vinegar. Stop it. Don't click that link, guys. I 
hate when I do that. And that is why I enabled the stop command. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Thankfully, copy and paste makes fixing that pretty quick. All right, random games. Game number one. Slip Heed, The Lost Planet for PlayStation 2. Or Silp Heed, not Slip Heed, Silp Heed. Game number two. The Simpsons Arcade Game for Xbox Live. So yes, that is the Konami Simpsons game from the late 80s, early 90s. Game number three. Michael Andretti's Indie Car Challenge for the SNES. And last but not least for this round of cookie. Inuyasha Feudal Combat for the PlayStation 2. I believe that's an Inuyasha fighting game. All right, let's do it. For real this time. Yeah, Azure, you're the one that gave me that, right? Because I know you gave me a couple of Inuyasha games. I know you gave me the RPG. Did you give me the fighting game too, or was that the one that you didn't have the disc for? Yes, I am. I gave you both. Ah, okay. Oh, heads up, Azure, too, by the way. Remember how we found out that uh, that Eureka Volume Eureka Seven was missing the disc? I found a replacement disc. I've got Eureka Seven Volume One and Two available again now. All right. Currently in the lead. Yeah. I had a feeling that would happen. Simpsons arcade game, commanding lead at the moment. 117 yeah. votes, 36% of the vote. Shin Megami Tensei 3, Nocturne HD Remaster, 56 votes, 16%. Inuyasha Feudal Combat, 53 votes, 15%. Azure Striker Gunvolt 2, 42 votes, 11%. Battalion Wars, 28 votes, 7%. Sylphie, The Lost Planet, 15 votes, 4%. Metal Saga. 13 votes, 3%. Redux Dark Matters, 10 votes, 2%. And Michael Andretti's Indie Car Challenge, 8 votes, 2%. 391 votes clock so far. The Simpsons Arcade Game leads over Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster, 149 to 69. Not quite a mercy kill, because that's 100 votes, but pretty damn close. Let's put a minute on the clock and see what happens. Stop! Viewer choices so, on the next reading... Oh, sorry. Go for it. No. I was going to say, I'm reading up on Redux. It's a Dreamcast game that was uh, an indie project that released in 2015. Yeah, so it's a it's an indie developed uh, homebrew shmup for the Dreamcast. Yeah. Huh. It seems neat from what, I, what I've seen of it. Uh, viewer choices next round come to us from Chloe. Chloe, the flaming one up, Olivine Branch, and Kurarisu Pachi. Hello. How you doing? You all right? That came with the Atari thing. It was a free thing. I figured I'd keep it and give it to the boys. Uh -oh. Yep, in a minute or two. Okay, so uh, I gotta do everything that. John, curiously, how many times does Shin Megami Tensei 3 specifically show up on the viewer choices? I, I don't think that often. That's the only one at the moment, probably. Maybe another one on the back half. All right, Simpsons Arcade Game, unsurprisingly, the winner. Not quite a mercy kill, but pretty damn close. Let's drop some eggs. Yep, there's my list. Ariel Lynn and Sly Guy, thank you for the gift subs. Jim the Barbarian for 40, Mikey DCT for 48, Azure Guardian for 64, Trismon 55555 for 15, that's three fives. 
It's Andrew for 40. Uh, Mygumi Stillwall for 8. There's this Mugumi. I guess it'd be the same, technically. Hornelius for 78. Lucagins for 107. Mr. Lucky's Games for 2. And Sailor Sylveon Moon for 41. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... Oh, no. There are some in here. What do we got? Oh, no. Tenmar submits an egg. Labeled, Welcome, Cult of the Egg Farm. Are we getting the, Is Tenmar busting out his super deep voice? Let's see. Welcome, follower, to the Cult of the Egg Farm. He's really good at doing that. And yoke the joke with, I got you a boyfriend. Oh, I just wanted to say, I just got you a boyfriend. I don't want a boyfriend. I'm not gay! Yes, you are! I and don't I want a boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. Alright, we're gonna go to break oh, when we come back. The Simpsons Arcade Game. See you guys in a bit. Alright, apparently I have to go find the cat. Oh boy. What was that? Was that did Tenmar just try to hop in? Or was that just someone listening to the clip? No, that was me. Oh, okay. I was trying to see if I could go deeper than Tenmar. It is a rough, rough hit. Rough hit to the throat. How we doing, chat? I can't do deeper than Tenmar, but I can definitely do about the same level. It takes some practice getting down this low. Really, if you're just watch Inspector Gadget, that's all you need to do. It's not that bad otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it does do a number on your throat. It's the only downside of if you're doing it so long. But man, it's pretty good if you can keep it going. <coughs> oh, man. That is not good for the throat. <laughs> Tea time. I do not know how people can actually keep doing that for, uh... It probably depends on how you do it. I, I do not know how, like, uh, heavy metal singers can keep doing that. Oh, yeah, the, growl, I, the growls are something else. I, Apparently something they have to do it, like, do. from the diaphragm instead of the throat. That's the only way they can keep their voice, their voice going. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. All right, be right back. I gotta go find my son. <laughs> have fun. Train your voice well and drink lots of water. Yeah, that sounds about right. Lack of air. So, Shinko, from the diaphragm is when you breathe in, you don't you don't breathe in to puff your chest out. It's more you kind of drop. Your, your lower chest cavity to make room for your lungs to fill and you use kind of your ab muscles to put for, push that air out in a more controlled manner the lungs are freaking weird in how they work in that they yeah, really are you have a muscle the diaphragm that literally just pulls your lungs down and says expand damn you <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you fill your lungs and like where, where and how you position yourself and stand is like how you move your diaphragm, and that that like I'm, I'm speaking off of personal experience and absolutely no medical knowledge, um, but that's like how you you build up a, a good strong voice. Like when they speak when they say speak from your diaphragm or speak from your throat, like that that plays a factor. Yeah. Also, when I was yes, in... that is why it's so hard to breathe if you get punched too hard. Yeah, that too. When I was in college, my choir director, he had us uh, train our bodies that when we breathe, he would have us focus and move our chest cavity in different ways when we breathe. So like, we could breathe in and make our back muscles stretch out to make room and then expand, like, and then move our ribs out to breathe. And it was... It really helps getting that bolder tone when you're doing a lot of singing. 
If if you know how to, I, I'm gonna say abuse your diaphragm. <laughs> um, you can you can belt out a song. You really can. It it is genuinely amazing what being in a choir will like train you in that you have absolutely no realization that it's training you in. <laughs> You learn muscles that you never knew existed. Pretty much. Mind you, that's the same with a lot of different skills. Yeah, I don't know. Favorite Disney villain? Gaston. Gaston's a good Disney... He's a good character. I don't think that makes him a good Disney villain. Jafar jumps to mind. Um, Marathon Running will also definitely teach you how to breathe, because holy shit. The shape you need to have your body in to run a marathon is... Yeah. He, yeah, that's that's it. He's an antagonist more than a villain. Yes, but that's it. Ar arguably, arguably the beast is kind of sort of the villain in that. Uh, I'd pin him more kind of anti-hero. Yeah. The beast at the beginning, at least, is the villain. That that's fair. Some people are saying the witch is the villain. I honestly don't think she's a villain. More so just spiteful for someone being an ass, which is... Eh. Maleficent is another good villain I'd pin up there. Yeah. Uh, uh I, man mango or watermelon? Watermelon, 100%. I can't stand mango. Okay. I can't stand I've got mango, and I can't stand cantaloupe. <laughs> Which surprised a lot of people. Um, I feel like... I'm probably gonna get flagged for this, but I feel like the villain from Frozen is actually a really good villain. Uh oh Han because... uh, Hans? Yeah, they stay out of the way for most of the movie. And it's like, you're actually dealing with what Frozen is supposed to be about, which is the sisters. Oh, the, as a character, that's right, the villain from Princess and the Frog is incredible. He is my favorite villain as a character. Um, but as their role, I think it's the villain from Frozen, whose name I literally don't remember. Hans of the Seven Seas. Or Seven Islands or something like that. In in the original was was she was blah, blah, blah. was she supposed to be the villain bleach? But um, that would not surprise me, but I feel like having her be the villain would have made the movie worse. I think the uh the way it worked out in Frozen 1 was... is much better than having just one sister suddenly become the villain, because it... it deals with... It deals with family, and the fact that there is no absolute villain until the very end, but again, that's not the point. Um, better. But... hurt my throat by doing that gravelly voice. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That's alright. I'm the one who chose to do it and have a conversation with it. Now, where is my Xbox controller? It's my own fault. I didn't I didn't do any warm-ups. I just jumped right into it. 
doing something like that, you're supposed to do an actual vocal warm-up. <clears throat> Milk is your friend when adding a rumble effect? True, but it is not your friend when you have the talks like for like two or three hours straight. <laughs> and also when you're lactose intolerant. Good for rumble effect, bad for the long term though. Yeah. Never roll that on that. That was one thing we were always we were always told to avoid milk and dairy stuff, right? Anytime before concerts. Yep. You cut your throat makes it uh Flemmy. Milk and sodas. We were only told milk. I was allowed to have like a full two liter bottle of soda before one concert. That was a well, bad idea can... because I was be too energetic, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Clear sodas we were fine, but dark sodas were no. Sorry, this just came up in chat. Do you want a milk-cooled PC like Tony the Tiger has? Shoutouts <laughs> to new VTuber Tony the Tiger, by the way. This is a real thing. He's great. I have opinions on Tony being a VTuber on Twitch. It is a genius marketing move, and I have opinions about them doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, the best part is, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it in a post comparing um, Facebook, sorry, Meta's uh, Metaverse CG and Tony the Tiger's VTuber CG, and. Uh, <laughs> Let's just say one was looking a bit more favorable than the other. I know it's I know it's like, not a fair comparison considering what they're trying to do, but it was still funny to see together. I think it's a perfectly fair comparison. What are you talking about, John? <laughs> that was a boring stream, but the chat carried the entertainment. Oh, well, here's the thing. Most branded ones, unless they hire an actual entertaining person to do like the actual Tony content, and I don't know if they have like the current VA for Tony or what. I haven't looked at it, but like, they, they kind of got to know what they're going for. They're aiming for a specific audience, which can be tricky here. That, I think, is my biggest issue of why Tony being on... Or with Tony being on Twitch. I think that is my biggest issue. Because I feel like the audience doesn't exactly mesh with what you're going to have for an audience <clears throat> on Twitch. And you're going to end up with a really meme chat, because that's how Twitch reacts to shit like that. And that's Tony, probably not the best environment. Tony was there for 20 minutes total for two hours and had four streamers on there competing against one another in Fortnite and Fall Guys. Wow. Hmm. All right, let's quickly read alerts and then go to Art Block and go play the Simpsons arcade game. Uh, I guess since this is around the time, we'll do it too. Schedule for the week coming up before we get to it. Monday, game clearing. We're doing uh, one and done is the current theme for this month. We are going to be working on... Uh, I actually haven't said the game yet, so I'll shut my mouth on that. But it's a game we ideally will be beating and starting in the exact same night. Nothing on Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be a race night, but we're doing something a little special this time around. Uh, we're going to keep the details a little private until the actual day of, but I think you guys will enjoy it. And Saturday is Fortune Cookie, so standard schedule next week. But subs, keep an eye out next week on the announcements tab. You're going to see a, a Google Doc going up because September's game clearing theme is going to require your input and a fair amount of it. You're going to get three polls, essentially, or the equivalent of that I need you to work with. So uh, get ready for that. That'll probably be going up Tuesday, if I had to guess. I'll probably start the first part of that. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to see how it goes. All right, Flagboy1213 says, or 12.13 says, I finally got COVID and I'm doing good. I'll beat this thing. Thanks for keeping me company. Oh, I'm sorry, Flagboy, but feel better soon. I don't know why I did it again. Uh, Say, so, so A, feel better soon, Flagboy. I'm sorry, sorry that you got it. And B, I don't know why I keep forgetting this, but uh, that's not my whole schedule for the week. I'm also on stream tomorrow. I am over on Laughing Boy stream tomorrow around... Four o'clock my time? I think it was six o'clock Eastern. Let me double check that time sheet. But uh, for Laughing Boy's birthday, which is today, he's actually doing a stream tomorrow to raise money for a charity. Let me get all the details here. 
doop a doop a doop a doop a doo. What were we raising money for? Why don't I see that listed here? Andrew, why did you not list that here? Uh, either way, my segment is going to be at 6 o'clock Eastern, which is 4 o'clock Mountain Time. I will be playing Mario Party Superstars with Laughing Boy, Nintendo Capri Sun, and a special guest, which I believe I can confirm is not a meal, unless that changes last minute. Uh, you can donate during that segment as well. Apparently, if you donate $10, I have to give you an Airbud fact, because we did that last time. $25, you can force an upside-down controller for the next minigame on someone, and uh, for every $50, you can tack on an extra turn to the actual uh, the actual event we're doing, to the actual uh, Mario Party board. I do know that it's the whole thing starts at noon Eastern with Fall Guys, with Sierra Plus Ultra, Amanda Van Heel, and Nintendo Fangirl. 2 o'clock Eastern, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with Forrest Minish, The Juker, and Tom Fox. 4 o'clock Eastern, uh, Splatoon 2 with Maseanella, Sarah Bear, and Tabby, uh, Tabra Cadabra, or Tabby. Tabby Chew, I believe, is actually the name they go by. Then obviously Mario Party's at 6 with me, Tim, and Special Guest. And then uh, Mario Party Superstars again after that with Jiggy... Alex and stuff, and Mary Stowe. And if the whole event raises $2,000, they'll add on an extra two-hour segment for Smash Brothers. With a bunch of people that were available in that. But let me double-check to make sure what charity he's raising money for, because for some reason that wasn't in that post. Raising money, uh, raising money for a hope for the day to will help increase mental health awareness through entertainment and art. Hope for the day is a nonprofit movement empowering the conversation on proactive suicide prevention and mental health education. It is okay not to be okay. So yeah, we'll be raising money tomorrow over at Laughing Boy LP, twitch.tv slash Laughing Boy LP. Banana Renderer says, you could just eat beef or root. No. Then says, any cows in chat? I'm sure there's probably a couple. Exhibition Cult says, does this work? You can't tell me what to do. God damn it. No. <laughs> Fun Metaverse Facts says, a metaverse oh, no. actually has nothing to do with Facebook or Meta. The term metaverse is basically a term for a VR world. Second Life, VR Chat, Towers Unite, these are all metaverses. What is happening? What is happening? Hi, Ryu. Which Ryu is it? You know what? I just realized, you know what? Variant has not shown up in a while. Let's see if it does right now. Nope. The Elegant Raven kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Hey John, donating for two things. First is for you to get the game Beast Breaker, a pinball-esque boss fighter. And for some luck, because I'm moving to Ontario at the end of the month. It's going to be my first time ever living outside of Alberta. Ooh. Ooh. Enjoy Fun. travel there. Ontario is very lovely. I think you'll have a good time. Thank you so much. I'll pick up Beast Breaker after the stream. And I got reminded... Uh, I haven't picked up Azure Striker Gunvolt 3 yet. I think I was waiting to see if there was a physical version, but I don't think that happened. And someone donated for it. Or at least it happened, but it was, like, limited run. So, yeah, I'll pick up the digital version of that, too, for the person who asked for that a while back. So don't worry. It will be in the backloggery soon. Beast Breaker. What platform is that on? Because <laughs> that didn't come up on... Oh, there we go, on Switch. New turn-based action adventure from the creator of... Th oh, from the creator of Threes! It's on Epic on PC, okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just pick it up on, on Switch. It's no big deal. This looks neat, though. Oh, this actually looks super neat. Hell yeah. Alright, I'll pick that up after stream, along with Gunvolt. Cool. Let's do it this way. Let's go to our block. God, is that Gene Wilder in that bottom right gif? No. 
Uh, it looks like him. That's from Hercules the Legendary Journeys. Oh, okay. I believe or, or it might be Xena. I can't tell which when they do when they shoot away to the guy on the left looking up, that looks like Xena's armor. But on the top down shot, it looks like Hercules' armor. So I can't quite tell. I think it's Xena though, because this looks like a very Xena move. Mm -hmm. Xena, I sent that gift, a uh, gift like that to you. Okay, gotcha. Like I said, it seems more like a Xena move than a uh, Hercules move, but the 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 Greaves look exactly like Herc's, at least from what I remember. Mm -hmm. All right, Art Block. Art Block still very short. Very short, but very round. Starting with this TRG and D from Ditto. Finally decided on a name for my D and D AU of all the TRG crew, TRG and D. Even made a logo to contribute to it. With the likes of Jana, Emilius, Bishop, and Orc Tom Fox, I feel like I should just continue making D and D stories for the full TRG crew whenever inspiration strikes. So be prepared for all of that. Cool. Thank you, Ditto. Xena and Sorbo's Herc crossed over quite a lot. Oh yeah, I remember. That's why I f I'm like, it's one or the other. <laughs> You're not gonna be wrong with a guess, basically, of those two. Greaves or leg armor? Wait, what? I, what about the... Okay, what's the wrist armor? I thought that was a Grieve. I mean, Chow will correct me, but alright. Bracers. God damn it. Yeah, not gauntlets. Cause gauntlets encount, like, encompass your full hand. I remember that. Bracers is what I was actually thinking of. Thank you, chat. From Jake Zero, decided to upload this quote from our favorite Yandere from Yandere Simulator in Cult... The Crush... Crush to follow the round theming of the night. I was doing some digging into Jelly's background recently, and it turns out her family tree is more of a circle. Oh, that's not quite the round we're going for, but all right. Also, your wife would fall into a coma if she saw tonight's captcha. Oh, no. Was it? I don't know. I'm afraid to ask what it was. Thanks, Jake. Next up. From Daisy and Chibi. Horse with a gun. Hi, this is Daisy, and this is the alt of the month. Space Ace Rosa John is a pony. Decided the coat color was di deciding the coat color was difficult, for I know I want to go with the space vibe, but I didn't know what that meant. So she is an Earth pony, and she does walk on all fours, but she can pop up on her back legs. How can she hold a gun? Low level magic. By the way, her dress is short enough to be considered risque. Gotcha. Thank you, Daisy, and she, or I guess just Daisy in this case. Kind of a huge stretch to say that that last piece was streamlined. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Daisy. Next up, from Peachy Chan. Oh, it's a round curb. It's been an age of man since I've drawn anything for the Buru. It's been a tiring year. I feel you on that. But I couldn't resist drawing a satisfied round Kirby Rosa John, who's very pleased with the amount of sweets around her. Kerba John? Kerosa John? I think it was like Rosa Curb, I think is what we said. I don't know, I remember. We've had a couple bounce around for that. But either way, thank you, Peachy Chan. It's very cute. Lots of sweets. Next up, from Mimo. To the one person who said, you're a Proton John fan, of course you're horny. I say, bigger. Now to never show my iPad to anyone ever again. <laughs> everyone got everyone doing the big tummies tonight. I guess round, round edition was very accurate tonight. Thank you for the lovely big tummy, Mimo. It's all right. It's all right and okay. And also, now I want cake. Everyone's hungry tonight, too. God damn. And the last piece I got here for Art Block from Hypercole. Big and tiny. <laughs> Rosa, Kirby's too small now. You just said smaller. Not this small. You're no, you're not good at specifying your requests. <laughs> there, John, now Kirby's extra small. Again, this seems very helpful for DDD getting revenge, really. I just wanted DDD to be good friends before, okay? They're considered friendly rivals as a forgotten land. Don't argue with Cannon. Ignore the fact that I also have Cad Cannon. Pfft, all right. Thanks, Cole. Now you have small Kirby. Big and small. And that's our block. So before we hop into the Simpsons, I think we just got a small raid. Let me double check that. Uh. Ah, oh, it was a raid from my boy TJ Thrilla. How's it going, bud? Corey, I think you'll enjoy this.
DJ Thrilla, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Hope your stream was good. We came in just in time, by the way. Because we are about to start playing the Simpsons arcade game. But while that's booting up, let's get the Wisdom of Duke Nukem here as well. Yay! All right, well, maybe not Duke's Wisdom, but we got Gabby J. Yay! All right, The Simpsons Arcade Game, released around like 89, 90, somewhere in that range. This is based off like season one of The Simpsons. It's it's really, really, really early Simpsons. Wait, is this the one that has Rabbit Ears Marge? Yes. That's how early it is. For those who don't know, the original um, the original idea was that the reason Marge's hair was Marge's hair was because it was hiding rabbit ears. Yep. Cool stuff. A guide to in-game appearances of Springfield characters. Oh yeah, here we go. Patty and Selma, Grandpa, Howard, and Principal Skinner. Like, look at some of these early ass designs. Like Martin still looks the same. Sherry or Terry looks a little different. Professor Werner Bon Von Braun. I'm gonna spoil it. Yeah, there you go. There's Hansel the Helper, Krusty the Clown. We'll show some other ones later. But all these unlock depending on who you beat the game with. I have to unlock beat the game with Lisa unlock music test. As Marge unlocks sound test, and I assume as Bart to unlock flashback. Oh, I beat it as Homer. That's surprising. All right. Well, who are we playing as, first and foremost? We have the Japanese and the USA ROMs. We can put some in the free play survival mode, which, is, which just gives us one credit and one life. Team quarters, where every player has 40 credits total to pull. And, or each player gets 10 credits with quarters. So I'll go on free play for now. We can pick our difficulty, and we can pick where we start, because I've beaten this game before. Who are we playing as? There's a poll running right now in chat. Vote to see who we're playing exactly. Um, where's... I didn't get a Twitch poll. There it is. Homer, Bart, Marge, and Lisa. Bart currently in the lead. Not by much, though. 43%, 62 votes. Make that 72. Marge, second place, 36 votes, 62%. Lisa, 12%, 23 votes, and Homer, 6%, 12%, or 12 votes as well. All right, it's looking pretty one-sided for Bart, actually. Marge is putting up a fight at the start, but... Isn't Homer the one that has like infinite projectiles because he literally grows a beard to chuck as one of his moves? No, not sure what you're referring to with that. Bart is the winner. All right. I don't know the main difference between the Japanese and USA ROMs, but I've heard the Japanese one's technically easier. And I don't remember why. Are we doing the Japanese ROM? I think it's still all in English anyways. Homer, Bart, Lisa, and Marge, and we said Bart is who we're playing as. Japanese ROM has a nuke item you can use. Ah, okay. Bart! Homer! Homer! Bart! Marge! Homer! Bart! Double check settings, ROM Japan mode, free play, difficulty hard. Oh, I left it on hard! Oops, oh well. Guess we're playing on hard. Japan ROM can give you a second health bar and gives you screen clears regularly. Oh, okay. Japanese ROM also restores HP after each stage, apparently. Oh yeah, the US one does not do that, does it? Bart! Smithers robs a jewelry store. Bumps into the Simpsons. Maggie catches the diamond and gets kidnapped as a result. That's the plot of the game. That's it. Maggie. 
And now we have to beat up just a shit ton of people. Mostly the same person over and over, but you know. Oh yeah, here's that screen clear. And I feel like I might need to turn on that flashing light warning. That's a bit flashy, yeah. Let's turn that on out of reflex. You can't get me. Oh, maybe you can. But I want... <laughs> the Simpsons! New game! At the Noiseland Video Arcade. Oh yeah, this is my power move. I forgot. This, like, spin attack does, like, double damage. The bummer part is there's a, one cool thing this game does that other beat-em-ups don't do is there are team moves, and depending on who you're playing as, there's like special combos they can do that do a lot of extra damage. Or can just wreck shop. But unfortunately, because we're playing single player, no choice. Because I know if we have like the whole family, we can pick up this car and throw it. But since I am a, an eight-year-old, I cannot do that. Or is Bart 10 and Lisa's 8? I forget. I think that's it. I think Bart's 10 uh, and Lisa's 8. Uh, yeah, Bart, Bart 10 and Lisa's 7. Oh, 7? Yeah. I don't know, Chad is confirming Lisa's 8. I thought it said she was 7 in the intro. And the, don't trust the intro, because that's using like, uh, old info. I guess. Look, let's put the different chat and we'll call it seven and a half. <laughs> More food, please. All gone, beat it. All right, fine. It's wrestling time. Damn it. Almost got it without hitting. Without getting hit at all. Ta da! Easier than arm wrestling! Wait, what achievement did I not have? Defeated the wrestler without any player dying. Oh shit! Okay. Achievement I actually didn't have. Nice. I didn't win. I wasn't even up by that much, too. Damn. Stage two, Krusty Land. Do you get some bonus if you win that, or...? Uh, I got those points. They're in my score now, but I would've got more points if I'd won. I would've gotten basically an extra 300. But this game actually does that a lot. There's a bunch of like random competitions between the other players or AIs if you're playing by yourself uh, that you can just get bonus points from. But different than the uh, North American version, uh, normally the North American version is like one point per kill. This is a hundred points per kill. So they just added two digits for some reason. All right. I got my favorite projectile, dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is Santa's little helper, so he helped. Did they just drop Santa's little helper? Thank you, Millhouse, for the hammer. Get these two out of here. John's getting Mr. Burns to play with you. No, he's the villain. I have to defeat him. Gotta love the teacups. Oh, they're actually the... walking around in the teacups. Okay. 
Truly the most powerful of rides at that point. Oh, he's got his hat! Yeah, he's gonna odd job you. Hey, does this tree have any food? Thank you. Any more food in this tree? Nope. Hang on to this hammer, we'll be okay. Bear. No. Uh -oh. There goes the hammer. Bartman! So yeah, if if you play as Marge in this game and you get electrocuted, your ears are the exact same as this rabbit, which is like is one of Matt Groening's like original comic book characters. So it's implied that uh, it was supposed to be that Marge was a rabbit, and that's like the only thing in like Simpsons media that still exists that proves that. Snowball the first too. season of Simpsons had some very interesting choices. They were still trying to figure out what they wanted to be. Alright, our me. second boss is a very grabby round balloon of Krusty. That every time you hit it, it gets bigger. Of if course, this is what came up Homer tonight. Supposed to be Krusty? That was also oh, supposed yeah. to be the original lore, was that Homer was supposed to be Krusty, and then they made Krusty a separate character. I really did, actually, I was dead on naming this stream the round stream, wasn't I? Shit. Pretty much. We figured you'd get around to it eventually. And then we died! The end! Game. Roll card. Stage three, Springfield Discount Cemetery. Mr. Ghost, come on down. Oh shit. Bart! Bart! Spooky ghost! Man, this is not how I remember the filler music video going. Eh, it's a little different. To be fair, we're not even at the cemetery part, really. We're just in the random forest part. Man, I don't remember the music for this game being this decent. It's the one thing I just don't remember other than the first track. Very arcadey sounding, like very solid in that sense. Oh, here you go. Now we're in Thriller. I got my slingshot. Deep's typing up a storm. <laughs> uh, I love my keyboard. But I hate my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I, I don't think it's my keyboard. I think it's just how I type. I have very heavy fingers when I type. That's fair. I'm the same too. 
Doubly so when my nails are long enough for, for having them painted, because then it's in the nails are just hitting it all the time. Yeah, even if I was on like a laptop with a checkered keyboard or something, like you'd you'd still just hear like just tapping on the thing. So yeah, I, can't, I can't get the nuke. But I can get ball! Oh, that was just like a cherry bomb. No, oh, I don't remember how to put in quarters. How do I put in quarters? <laughs> oh shit, how do I put in quarters? <laughs> what? You didn't buy the quarter DLC? Uh... I've hit every button! We might have um, a problem. Um... Okay, never mind. You know how it said press start? They meant hit the jump button. <laughs> Which is weird. I definitely hit that button. You had to do a quarter circle jump. Well, that guy's dead. Meanwhile, the old elevator in the, underneath the graveyard. Specifically, Krusty's grave. Yep. Because apparently Mr. Burns killed Krusty or something. I mean, we killed the Krusty Balloon. We saw that he was around and we took it as a threat. <laughs> I mean, with most enemies, we see that they're all round and take it as a threat, so. Alright. We're at most tavern, but we gotta defeat Guy with small jacket and guy with big jacket. Was, who together become was guy. To be like, was this supposed to be like the original mafia? I this I don't know. I don't know this reference. This might just be made up for the game. It's it'd be fitting, but also. When? Okay, I have to look this up. It's probably gonna be the Mafia episode, but I wanna know when the Mafia first appeared. Like Fat Tony and them? Um, a couple seasons in, I'm pretty sure. Season four, I wanna say? They are called Two Goons, is that it? Oh my god. Fat Tony first shows up in episode number 39, which should be season two. Moe's Tavern. Original air date, October 10th, 1991. Wow. Wow. Definitely wow. Oh, don't do that now. Oh, it's the fourth episode of season three, okay. Hit buttons, wiggle joystick. There's Barney. In his very, very different look. Oh! There's Mo getting a prank call. Not from Bart this time, so we've got plausible deniability. Sweeping up the competition. Maggie's on TV, apparently. Belly dancers are here, and so... <laughs> Bleeding Gums Murphy. And the other baby is here. Damn it, I wanted the slingshot.
There's the Simpsons arcade game alongside Aliens, which apparently has Marge in it. Marge apparently is the alien queen, just in case you were ever wondering. Oh look, The Simpsons and The Simpsons by Konami. Yay. <laughs> All it has is just Bart and the two of them. Lisa's not even featured in The Simpsons. Bye, random big lady. Oh, who's the boss of the stage? Oh, the bouncer, right. It looks a lot like Funk Dancing Mo, but also somehow breathes fire. The Bouncer. Oh god, the Bouncer! Damn it, I thought I sweet sp Oh, come on! Oh, Double KO! So well, at least you got the full vitality bonus. I guess. Cost of credit. You're late. You're late. You're late. Stage 5, Springfield butt. There's Smithers, drops Maggie. Being chased by the bear we let out in stage 2. <laughs> Composer of this game is Norio Wakamoto, by the way. He moved to Treasure when they were formed. Oh shit, no way. That's crazy, I didn't know that. The boss is called Drunk Man, according to the wiki. Ah. My favorite Simpsons character. That's not Barney, Drunk Man. How is this so, like this music this good? Because it's the someone who worked at Treasure, or went to go on to work at Treasure. I got Blinky. Damn it. I was waiting for that. Bees! Someone could not resist the yodel. Oh, rock's too heavy. Oh, no, I can lift it! Giant pile of apples! Big folks kicking the shit out of me. Nelson. Thanks for the slingshot. Casually murdering people with a slingshot, no big. Oh, they're like super dead. I just realized they're falling off the cliff. <laughs> See ya. Shit. Well, there goes the slingshot. Taking this fish with me. There's Sideshow Bob. This was pre-murderous Sideshow Bob, wasn't it? Yep. Or was, like, around the time. And now we fight the bear! The thing I like about this game the most is that like nothing makes fucking sense if you follow The Simpsons. It's just all kind of based on like they were just given early access to like a description of the show and they just kind of went wild with it. 
think that's like half the fun of this game. And we kill the bear! And turn it into a dude. Who the hell are you? Uh oh! Smithers found a crusty toys helicopter! And then we fell off a waterfall! And fell into a coma! Stage six, Dreamland. We are now unconscious in a coma. And now to fight fantasy monsters such as donuts that shoot donuts. We're Kirby. Or as Chad is putting it, we are literally in Bart's nightmare. The game developers literally just had a blast with this. Ah, damn it. We were gonna be like Kirby and shoot stars at people. But the donuts attacked. And if you don't say every day. Eh, it happens. Alright. Marge is attacking us now. Giant saxophones. Saxophone. There we go. The word Maggie has been sent to us. Now we can attack it with it. G. I should have left GG there, huh? Ig. I'll be right back. Go for it. You're good. And now we have to fight Devil Barts. And summon lightning. Because of course he can. The actual boss of the stage, another round object. A bowling ball. But this is not any ordinary bowling ball, it's a bowling ball with arms! And now, a bowling ball with legs! And heat seeking pin, or bowling pin missiles. And now a weird tentacle tail arm thing. Whip. Don't know what they were going for with this one. And now that we've defeated our coma, we wake ourselves up the only way we know how. With a fun bonus game! Hey, wake up and you are his brother. I 
slap yourself enough till you wake up. Lisa, apparently the best at slapping her face. We are second again. And now we go to channel six. I don't know why Bart has his tongue out. Stage seven, channel six. Really a missed opportunity on that one. Missing, Maggie Simpson. Mr. Burns, nuclear power plant, power plant boss. That's the news, that's it. Those two things, not at all related. We're actually almost done the game, believe it or not. And we just hit a half hour right now. I'm pretty sure the next stage is the end of the game. Problem is, those who know this game know that the final boss sucks ass. The final boss is actually a very difficult fight. Hammer is doing some fucking heavy lifting. God damn. I'll go and beat it. Ninjas! Because what Konami beat him up doesn't have ninjas in it. Sunset Riders, that's the one. But otherwise, they mostly have ninjas in them. I also like how the sound, if you heard it for a split second there, the sound of the ninjas doing like their, their ninja hiyas was literally just part of the crusty laugh. Or at least this game's equivalent. And now the boss of channel six, a Kabuki warrior. This is a choice. What Konami had in, in their rules are like, we have to put at least one Kabuki themed fight in every, in every game we make. We snuck it in the Turtles the Arcade game for suit for NES. We have to put it into the Simpsons game. Wait, really? Yeah. Well, the the stage is is themed like this. I, I don't think there's actual Kabuki boss in there, but like they made a traditional like uh, design like this. They're, they made a stage like that and they added it only in the uh, NES version, the home version of the game. Fun fact, the the bosses are less dangerous in the Japanese version, having fewer invincibility frames, less health, and doing one-frame surprise attacks less frequently. Well, that explains why this definitely seems easier, even though we set it to hard. So I'm wondering how Mr. Burns is going to be in that case. Alright, we killed the Kabuki Dancer. Hang on! Skateboard's hanging out of my feet! <laughs> Don't ask how! Oh, I lost it. Stage 8, Springfield Nuclear Power Plant. 
Found the skateboard again. Straight to the boss. Welcome to my world. That's Smithers. That's his famous catchphrase. Famous also for having a cape full of bombs, Mr. Smithers. Smithers has his own unused boss theme, but in the final game, he just uses the thug theme. Aw, oh, he had his own theme song? Aw, oh, man. Would have loved to have heard that. In-game, that is. Smithers, I know you got that Luigi bicycle kick, but come on, my dude. Let this fight end. <laughs> and then Smithers fucking died. And here is, here's Mr. Burns, again with his famous catchphrase, which at least this feels a little in character of the phrase. Mr. Burns made himself a fat robot suit, the most powerful of robot suits. I mean, it's not like Burns would be able to throw a punch otherwise. True. It launches nukes, as you do, broke its legs, so now it's a tank. At least he says excellent. Excellent. Right. Alright. Broke his tank leg, so now he gets a hovercraft leg. fight actually gets kind of difficult because he's really fast and should counteract a bunch now. Or he's not going to do anything. Never mind. <laughs> or he'll just launch three nukes at once. You know, no big deal. As one does. As one does. Now his final form. He has a heart attack. <laughs> you can hit him during that and knock him over faster, I believe, but otherwise he just falls over. And then Maggie gives him a pacifier after he dies a terrible, terrible death. And that's the game. The rest of the family finally catches up. And everyone else from town, apparently. Apparently. 
And then they were a family together. New features unlocked and cool stuff! And here's all the people that made this game. I played this game in an arcade in London, and I did not know they made a physical game of this. Uh, this is a digital version on Xbox 360. I think it was also on PS3. Uh, but also, you can now buy the arcade 1UP version of this now. You can buy a... it's like 550 bucks US. And uh, you can get an arcade machine that has this game and Simpsons Bowling in it. Why does Burns need to steal the diamond? He has the money to buy the diamond, right? Yeah, but, you know, whatever. Also, Homer throws away the diamond because... Homer, I guess. Best game. We beat it. That took 40 minutes. Not bad, actually. View a collection of game-related art. Flashback, arcade game history, development timeline. The Simpsons arcade game was the first Simpsons video game ever made. February 26, 1990, development started on the arcade game. December 17, 1990, a location test was performed in Chicago, Illinois, with the game's first arcade cabinet. January 21st, 91, a second location test was performed in the same city. February 28th, 91, mass production of the arcade game was complete. March 12th, 91, the U.S. version was released. August 21st, the Japanese version was released five months later. Here's the U.S. flyer for the game, but it's you can't zoom in on it, so it's a little hard to read the text, but this is basically a sheet that they would give to uh, arcade owners so they would know what a game is capable of, and it's how the companies would sell them on buying the game to put in their arcade. And here's the Japanese flyer for the same game, what the cabinet looks like, and some screenshots of the game. And there's the instruction card you would see on some arcade games. So, in, uh, just like the Ninja Turtles arcade games, whatever controller you grab, that was actually what character you played as. So, player 3 was always Bart, player 4 was Lisa, 2 was Homer, 1 was Marge. And, like, there's a listing of all the items you can pick up and so on. And if you go to characters, these are all the cameos of other characters from the series that showed up in the game. So, Patty and Selma, Grandpa, Howard, Principal Seymour Skinner, Martin, Sherry or Terry, Professor Werner Von Braun, Itchy and Scratchy, Krusty the Clown, Santa's Little Helper, Millhouse, Snowball 2, Auto Man, Dr. Marvin Monroe, Sherry or Terry, Mo Sislak, Barney, Princess Cashmere, the belly dancing girl, Bleeding Gums Murphy, Nelson Muntz, Blinky, Sideshow Bob, Waylon Smithers, and Charles Montgomery Burns. Those are all the cameos from the actual show. Now, if it be the game is Marge or Lisa, I get sound test and music test. There you go. That's that. Some of the staff moved to treasure when they were created. Norio Hanzawa, the composer, is one of them. Cool. All right. Let's go to the cookie. This is probably... Yeah, this is definitely last roll of the night. So let's see what's going on. Gentlemen, you're both in this round. What you got for me? Boss! Uh, I think... No, you know what? Let's go, um, let's go Bulletstorm. Why not? Wow. Which version? I think I might only have the one. Uh, whichever. Say Bulletstorm if for you three. only have the one. I, I, you'll have to yeah. double check, but let's just say Bulletstorm for three seconds. I don't think I have the one with Duke Nukem in it, so. I think if you want the U.S. flyers, you have to beat it with the USA ROM setting, too. Uh, I, hmm, not sure on that, maybe. Favorite Simpsons character? Probably Sideshow Bob. Deef, what you got? Still thinking. Give me a second. Okay, I'll roll viewer choices meanwhile. There was a version with Duke. So, uh, Bulletstorm got re-released on, like, current-gen consoles, or I guess last-gen through Xbox One and PS4. Uh, and it got they added a DLC where they replaced the main character with Duke Nukem. So you play through the entire game as Duke. But all the things that are happening are still the actual plot of Bulletstorm. It's it was weird and like weirdly received, but it is still John St. John doing Duke's lines. But I don't believe I have it. Oh, Lo Wang is the other character. Oh my god! All right, 
Viewer choices. Let's see here. Chloe, Chloe says, Oh, hey, Rogue Galaxy for PS2. I wonder how that got here. He 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 he. Oh, my God. They're really trying for it. The flaming one up also says Rogue Galaxy. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll use one less viewer choice then. We'll have three viewer choices. I knew this was coming up. I forgot it was tonight, though. Olivine Branch says, A childhood favorite because why not? Brats forever diamonds for the GameCube. And Kurisu Pachi says, time to date the bat backlog, May 14th, 2022. Oh yeah, we're actually under three months, I just realized with that. Uh, I am suggesting we continue our adventures in Miitopia for the Nintendo Switch. All right, so we've only so got three three viewer choices here because both Chloe, Chloe and Flaming went up asked for Rogue Galaxy. So I'm going to roll four cookie choices to make up for it. But what do you got for me, Deef? I was going to recommend... I, I wanted to check that you had it. I like management games. I was going to recommend a tycoon game. And I was looking at which ones you had. And you have Roller Coaster Tycoon. I was going to recommend that. And then I came across Pinball Tycoon Trigger Finger Challenge. Which I'm I looked up because what? it sounds so bizarre. What? <laughs> Pinball Kai Tycoon Trigger Finger Challenge. He, I yeah. can find nothing on this game other than its image. Pinball Tycoon Trigger Finger Challenge. You left out the important part about this. Pinball Tycoon oh, right. Trigger Finger Challenge for the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> All right, that's your game then. Bulletstorm for the Xbox 360, Pinball Tycoon, Trigger Finger Challenge for the Game Boy Advance, Rogue Galaxy for the PS2, Bratz Forever Diamonds for the GameCube, and Miitopia for Switch, alongside the following four rolls to make it back to nine. And you're right, sorry, that was a little over three months, not a little under, my bad. You can tell it's getting late if I'm screwing up math like that. Game number one, Blackbird on the Switch. I heard this was actually made by the guy who made Dandy Dungeon and a bunch of other weird games. I don't know if it was Chulip was one of the ones he worked on or not, but he's worked on some super quirky Japanese games that are decently well known. Game number two, Serious Sam, The Random Encounter. This is the Serious Sam RPG. <laughs> you might know Serious Sam as that boomer shooter series all about blowing up enemies that yell at you. <laughs> And many other things. This is an RPG using Serious Sam mechanics. Game number three. Forklift load on Steam. What the fuck is this list? And last but not least, to close out whatever the fuck tonight's cookie is. Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Pack 2 for the Game Boy Advance. It's two Yu-Gi-Oh! games in one. I think one of them's like Reshiram of Darkness or whatever the fuck it's called. There you go. That is a cookie. Nine games. What's winning? Reshef of Destruction. I think that's one of them. Apparently, uh... Uh, someone says dual dice monsters might be the other one. Or dungeon dice monsters. Alright, let's see what happens here. Currently in the lead. <laughs> this is closer than I thought it was going to be, I'm not going to lie. Rogue Galaxy, currently in the lead. 47 votes, 20% of the vote. Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Pack 2 for the Game Boy Advance. 45 votes, 17%. Pinball Tycoon Trigger Finger Challenge, 45 votes, 17%. Miitopia, 44 votes, 15%. Forklift Load, 26 votes, 8%. Bratz Forever Diamonds, 22 votes, 7%. Serious Sam The Random Encounter, 22 votes, 7%. Bulletstorm, 12 votes, 3%. And Blackbird, 4 votes, 1%. 
326 votes clock so far. Rogue Galaxy leads 68 to 67. Now it does not lead because Pinball Tycoon Trigger Figure Challenge has taken the lead. It's gonna be a fight. Let's see what wins. One minute. Oh, I felt good at my with my choice at the start. Just notice the screen says straw poll. You should probably change that. I mean, straw poll still is what it actually is. It's just not the site anymore. So yeah, it, it probably should still change. Straw poll, technically, yeah. Um, most mostly because you always use the pick one version and not the like instant runoff. Yeah. But. Pinball Tycoon leads 91 to 85, but 1% rule ooh, is actually not in play. Back in play. Ooh, it's actually, ooh, it's not in play right now by 0.1. <laughs> Literally. It is just it barely out of vote. 2%. If it gets one vote! Oh my god, it needs one vote! Oh no, the vote went to Pinball Tycoon! <laughs> the vote went to Pinball Tycoon! It's not a 1% rule! Holy Back shit! Back. Holy shit! Chat, why? Like, I know this is dumb, but also, why? <laughs> wow! I guess Chat just also wants to know what the fuck this game is. <laughs> I might need to see a replay on that, but I'm pretty sure it just got nudged out of 2% at the end there. But yes, Pinball Tycoon Trigger Finger Challenge is up next. Don't worry, there have I've seen tonight more people have put Rogue Galaxy in as an option, so it is still on the list. <laughs> Chat embraces dumb, that's fair. So so oh God, I'm almost tempted to start a prediction on we discover a really good game, a really bad game, or a game that's just kinda like meh. Cause it's either going to be really good, or really bad, or meh. And I don't know which one I want. <laughs> Alright, so next time on Cookie, here's where the viewer choices are coming from. Round one will have five games, and those games will come from Paul BP7, Radiant Shadow 92, LED Mirror Knight, Chill Days, and Blonde Lombax. Round two will have games from Lite uh, Lishte, I think I butchered that, Peachy Chan, Major Mooch, and Mike Capella. Round three will have games from Brand M1AK, Green Power Star, Deef Dragon, and Zero J. And round four will have games from Zebra Rick, The Maniacal Gamer, Blonde Guy Gamer, and Mr. G Funker. If there's an extra round for any reason, the games will come from Bay Bay 9001, Delta Mochi 25, Timidator 75, and SN50. Let me quickly skim what games to expect next week on Cookie. Oh, this is all across the board actually for these for these types of games. Yeah, no, there's this is gonna be an interesting list of the for this next one because like there's no RPGs in the list. Actually one technically might be, but uh, like they're all completely different types and genres of games. Interesting choices coming up. Did I do Zombie Sparky's Wisdom of Duke? I don't remember if I did. Draco's was the last one you did. That's what I'm thinking too. Let's just do another one anyways, just in case. 
I'm gonna find you, Proton. Oh shit, I'm out. Oh right, we got Gabby J. That's what it was. Right, that's why I didn't remember it, because it wasn't actually Duke. Alright, uh, that was a bonus one then, we'll save for that. Let's drop some eggs. off on eggs. I see Shenny Nerd for 55. Black Ninja 261 gifted a sub to Grand Spectre. Vanimal gifted a sub to UB Rambo. Mike Bliss 218 for 35. Raz Dingo for 79. Zero Maru 2 for 11. President Dog for 62. Thank you for your service. SL The Pyro for 38. Infitomes for 10. Nals for 43. And Czar of Wind for 105. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... Absolutely nobody. <laughs> Shuffler it is! You will give me an... All right. We're gonna go to break. When we come back, last game of the night, which I already forgot what the hell the name of it was, Pinball Tycoon Trigger Finger Challenge for the Game Boy Advance. See you guys in a bit. Is the oh shit I'm out actually part of that video? Yes, that that reco that's a recording of me. That's not me saying it every time. Imagine though. To be fair, people thought it was a recording when I kept saying the thing for the one man raid. Apparently, had some people c convinced and confused for quite a while. All right, I gotta go check on my son see what he's up to, and I'm going to quickly grab an almond bar. Be right back. Hello, chat. Oh, I've seen that box art. Okay. Simpsons episode is I remember very few of them but one that sticks in my head consistently is the one with Hank Scorpio because that episode is very good agreed that is my favorite episode do you know where I can find sugar for the coffee oh here you go I got some on me don't ask why they're not in packets <laughs> <laughs> Stop him! He's supposed to die! Good, nice work, Homer! When you get home, there'll be an extra level added onto your house. Oh, you mean the hammock district? <laughs> Have you played Katamari Damashi? I played a little of the first one. The first two levels of a Katamari game, I do not know which one. Questions, chat. Favorite useless fact I know that the world's largest bra is 26.72 meters. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on useless facts that I know. It's that time of night. Favorite color is green, by the way. 
I bounce between blue and red, depending on my mood. Yes, sexy Gardevoir. The largest bra in the world was a Guinness Book of, or according to the Guinness Book of World Records, is 26.72 meters. And I looked up the specifics. It was for a charity event for, I believe, breast cancer. Um. Taken three IQ tests, Don? I think. I have never taken one. They're very interesting and arguably not that accurate. Well, arguably with a very large variance. Literally one of the smartest people I know took an IQ test and scored, like, completely average. Because it just wasn't testing for the things that he was ridiculously smart in. Because it is so hard to make an IQ test that tests everything. It's also just, in general, very difficult to boil down the million different ways that we deal with stuff and process information and just process things in general into a single number. If I had to cook for someone important, I would nail a, um, I can, I can do a pretty good, uh, cheeseburger at this point. Like, homemade pretty much everything, including the bun. Um, I mean, the bun's gonna be the, the part that I am most eh at right now, but I feel like I can make a pretty good cheeseburger and fries. I would not go on a quiz show to save my life. Well, I would go on a quiz show to save my life. I couldn't win one to save my life. <laughs> I'd count, I count cheese as a base ingredient. Like, if you wanted me to literally raise the cow, get the milk, make the cheese, and then butcher it for me? I, I guess I could do that? But that's not what I'm counting here. <laughs> you grow eat yourself for the bread. <laughs> what kind of cheese would I use? It would depend on the guest. I'm, I'm really fond of a good monster. Fair enough. Uh, no, I hand need my bread. K16. Have a good night, Sylveon. Good night. Yes, you can ask John to do a specific mode or minigame grouping or whatever. Um, th the default is probably going to play the main game mode, but if you want something specific, put that in the choice and he'll, he'll go for it. Good luck on the job hunt, Shadow. Hope you get it. Still awake because I work Pacific time for my day job, um, and then I stay up till 4 a.m. anyway. 
so... I'm awake because I can be. I've got nothing that says I have to go to bed. Yeah. Right now is approximately my most productive hour of the night. Um, somewhere between like 1am and, and 4am is when I can do some of my best code. Um, I have literally written a programming language in those three hours. That was fun. Uh, K16, I am on Central Time, but I work in Pacific Time because I work for Twitch, and they're in San Francisco. Technically, our team is spread out from New York to San Francisco. Actually, Hawaii now. Um, but I work Pacific Time because that's when most of the team is consistently awake. <laughs> I should definitely keep a better sleep schedule, but it's just when I'm most productive. I mean, if that works for you, DD Traveler, go right ahead. When you code okay. best, when you're most productive, that's just when your brain go and <laughs> Yep. Definitely inner city. I'll give you that much. Tox and I've done that a few times. Stay up watching John's stream. I did it once where, uh, for the uh, Extreme Beach volleyball with Reese years ago. That stream ended at like six in the morning for me. I had to be to work an hour later. What are you uh, referring to in doing code? Are you like considering it as a job career or as a hobby or what? So I can give you more details for that, definitely. Um, as for working at Twitch, last the um, the team that I'm on, like the department I'm in, is like so awesome with the culture there that having like, having good communication and being, having a positive culture is literally on our self-reviews. Which is the most hilarious thing to me. <laughs> favorite and least favorite co- uh, to co- You're asking language there? Um, I love Golang. It's what we use at Twitch. Twitch was just actually a natural fit, even though I wanted to work there and I would have learned anything else anyway to work here. Um, but we use my favorite language, so it works out great. Um, least favorite language to work with is probably just Java, because it does not mesh with me. Um, I'm not Batman, I learn... I can't tell if John's back or not. I am back. I'm surprised you didn't hear me earlier when I said, sorry, I was gone for a bit, uh, Bagel. I had to take care of the cat. Okay, fair enough. Here, you, you finish the question, because I still got to quickly message Reese. Got it, got it. Um, I first learned to program um, dabbling in Minecraft modding, though I never really got very far. I, I did learn the basics um, of how to program there. Um, a little bit of very amateur video game programming um, in, like, Game Maker and stuff um, also helped. Where I really learned was... Um, my high school actually had a programming course and so i really dug into the basics it was a visual basic quite literally so it was def literally the basics um and then i went beyond that into a little bit of java and a little bit of c sharp um due to some college credit stuff that i could get and then i went through college and hated java all the way through learned going on the side did a whole bunch of personal projects, and my personal projects landed me my job, because they showed that I actually gave a shit. Even though di the literal director of not just, like, the software engineering department, but the entire um, EECS, like, mega department at my college was like, personal projects are stupid. Why? It's like, my dude, you have no idea how important they are. 
because it got me my job at Twitch, so. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's quickly. Afro Blade Master says, <clears throat> "Fun little theory. That rod Homer is holding in the intro has been theorized to be an isotope called Cobalt 60, which is so radioactive the warning label on it says drop and run." Wow. Wow. <laughs> Kador as well. Thank you for the yodel. No message on that yodel. Just really wanted to get it in when the uh, yodeling was on screen, I guess. Appreciate it. Let's go to Art Block. And then let's go to Pinball Tycoon. Weird question, John, but where did you get that Mega Man Terminator portrait that Luca hates? Asking for a friend who may be me. Uh, the Dr. McNinja artist made it. And I think it was a limited amount of prints that he was selling at conventions. So unfortunately, I don't believe it is available anymore, but they might be selling reprints, or at least you can get like the actual like artwork scan of it. I'm sure if you go to like Dr. Wing Ninja's art uh, like page and then look for the artist profile. Useless random fact, your fingernails grow faster on your dominant hand. Uh, they grow at the same rate on mine, so what does that say? That I'm ambidextrous? I'm guessing it's just a statistics thing. Like, yeah, more than that, that's probably more likely. Alright, let's go to our block. You can buy it as a print via Tapatico. Okay. Tapatico. Even if you're ambidextrous, you still have a dominant hand. Yeah, my right hand, but at the same time, they grow at the same rate. They grow fast, which is why I'm always like, I find it really easy to paint my nails, although I'm on a break right now. But, uh, yeah, they find they always grow at the same rate. Probably because you type and game a lot with both of your hands. You know what? That's probably the case. Now, honestly, that probably like flattens them out or forces them at the same rate. Either way, let's go with Art Block. From Gabber19, hello everyone for the next character profile for my Rosa Blade Chronicles art series. Here's purple as Melia Antiquia, <laughs> wielding her trusty staff and being the beautiful magical lady that she is. Enjoy. I would never thought to put purple in as Melia, but there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Gabri. Damaged nails grow faster and your dominant hand would damage your nails more. Probably seems to make sense. I mean, I guess that would make sense, yeah. So does that mean I does that mean I actually damage my hands equally? Then that's probably still not good. Next up, Bagel Drink Coaster from Nasu Blue. I noticed it was qui a quiet night on the Buru tonight, so I decided to touch up a doodle I did a while ago. Being on the zine team has rubbed off on me, as one day I came up with an idea for a bagel drink coaster, albeit a bit more abstract than what you'd probably expect. Other drink coaster ideas, Rosa John Hoodie Star, Rosa's Face, something about thirst, and for an unexpected throwback, Death Water. Not bad. Yeah, if I was gonna do like a bagel coaster, it probably would just be like, it would be this shape obviously, but it would be the cat curled up. I think that would be like a good coaster type. It's just like a, the bagel curled up like an actual bagel. But I still like this design too, just as much. Thank you, Nasu. Next up, oh no. Beef or you're driving a forklift. From Storm, getting rent free idea out of my head. Oh, and first post here since June, and it's a quick edit, but got some sprite edits to show off when the time is right. Also, Beaver the forklift driver was a thing last year, apparently, according to the Buru. Wasn't that the forklift certified thing this year? I guess that discussion was, but it probably came up in the past. Uh, due for recertification, I'm sure. Update on the Kamiya Mama Man. He has released a follow-up claiming it was a Yo Mama joke, but in the same vein calls Goku Gaku. Outcome unclear. No, no, at that point, that's definitely trolling. That's definitely trolling at that point. I can see the Yo Mama bit because it definitely sounds like it when he's saying it. But also, the Gaku is definitely trying to do it on purpose, so. It was from Tron's Misadventures on Game Clearing. Ah, okay, that makes more sense then. Thanks, Kador, for confirming that one. Next up, from Mimo, Rosa found the realm of cake. Anyways, grab my soapbox here. The reason why I keep saying time to never show this to anyone ever is because I grew up in a really religious environment. 
for being in a private Catholic school that refused to teach me sex ed to my parents who have come out to multiple times who believe I'm still cishet. I just internalize this stuff. So, uh, so is bad, so I feel like I have to hide it or else I'll be in trouble. It doesn't help me that I'm going through the worst bits of paranoia I've ever experienced. So I just want to say thank you, chat, for allowing me to go bigger. Aww. So, all right. I'll level with you, Mimo. Uh, exact same boat. <laughs> Pretty much exact same boat. Grew up in a religious family. Uh, never did sex ed because the sex ed teacher in my school was my mother. So, avoided that like the plague. Uh, and yeah, no, a lot of, lot of repressed uh, guilt about finding anything attractive, really. A lot of stuff I've had to kind of parse out in therapy, which has been interesting. So that's why I'm real chill about people just kind of like working out their things here. Like, cause the way I see it, as long as it is something that is not illegal and it is not hurting anyone, it is okay to feel feelings towards it. I feel that that's fine and you can work it out. As long as it also doesn't break Twitch TOS. Those are the three things that are like, these These are, will never change. These things will never change. But like, if it does not hit any of those notes, by all means, express it, learn it. Learn it about yourself. You learn so much more about yourself when you actually like lean into shit like that. It's, it's one of the weird, positives that have come out of the Rosa existing, I know that she gets used for some interesting art types. But at the same time, those same people have learned a lot more about themselves than I feel like anyone who kind of poo-poos on the idea ever will, which is the wild thing about it all. So that's why I let a lot of weird stuff slide. And it also helps that I've seen some really weird shit on the internet, so I'm, I'm just numb. But yeah, no, fucking embrace it. Embrace the bigger. Learn more about yourself. Unlearn the negative programming you got in the past and learn that you were kind of, you're worth, you're worth, period. You have worth, you're worth it. So don't worry about it. Thank you, Mimo. It is still really funny to me that it was your mother. Well, here's the thing, too. Mom wasn't the sex ed teacher before our schools combined. Originally, uh, the public school and the religious school were separate. And then when I got to grade eight, the time I would have been starting to get sex ed classes was when they combined and that's when mom got shifted to be the health teacher for that year. So mom would have been my sex ed teacher, but because the year prior I had chosen to get into band, I skipped health class as a result and missed that very awkward setup. I don't think my sister was that lucky. My sister had my mom as a homeroom <laughs> teacher. She had to beat the shit out of someone once because that someone was te teasing her, saying that she got good grades because mom was the teacher. So my sister beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I think anger issues just run in our family, really, is what I'm saying here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, and the last picture, speaking of working out feelings from Tiger Brows. Rosa, you have to stop eating the level, or what? It'll go to my boobs like everything else? Oh no. No, you'll eat a power-up on accident. Oh. And then you'll explode in size. <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. For a second, I thought that was clouds and not the actual cake, so I thought like they were just building up an atmosphere. Thank you, Tiger. And with that, that's our block. No, that's not our block. Oh, no. <laughs> Alternate ending. No, you'll eat a power-up on accident. Oh, God, she's on fire. Burning! Isn't it illegal to have your own child as a student if you're a teacher? No. Why would you think that? She'll be okay. That's our block. Let's do it. Last game of the night. Why is it not on I'm screen? Gonna... Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. You, you need to bounce. Yeah, my headset's starting to die out and everything's getting all staticky, so. Fair enough. Go take a break. Go take a break. Go to, go be, to bed. I'll still watch. <laughs> no, I'll still watch. I just won't be. Uh, my headset's getting ready to cut out, so I won't be on calm. All right. Take it easy, my dude. Thanks for being on. Yep. Catch you guys around.
All right, let's see it. Ah, oh, yes, that. That's it. That's the game right there, baby. There it is. Soak it in. This Why isn't it working? Is a game. Yay. Watch this be a game that actually can't be run in one of these. I mean, it's a result I was okay with. It's giving me the exact same glitch each time, which is the interesting thing about it. Let me give this a quick clean. I already wiped it earlier, but apparently that wasn't enough. We could have had Rogue Galaxy chat. Rogue Galaxy. I find it <laughs> hilarious. And Kid Ark, I'm sorry. I know. I know. You. I think you're at your limit. I saw you being mad about it earlier in chat. But I, I do find it hilarious how often the chat has rallied around that game at this point. There is there's legit, you've got legit like a following trying to help you make this happen. But at the same time, you know that you've always had an uphill battle with that choice because it's an RPG. Like RPGs are rare to win around here. Even popular ones like Final Fantasy IX. Like looking, I, I bet you right now, if I looked at the list of currently ga current games in the queue, I bet you the most reoccurring games on that list are specifically Rogue Galaxy and Final Fantasy IX. Otherwise, I bet you it's a bunch of RPGs that are also like on their number of times. There's like no dirt coming off of this, interestingly enough. Or very I'm little. Wondering, I'm wondering if it's a busted cart. That would suck, but I doubt it. And we'll find out. You would doubt it or wouldn't doubt it? I would doubt it. I don't think it's busted. The GBA games are surprisingly tough. Unless you drill through them. Unless you drill through them. But at that point, <laughs> then yeah. What's the name of this art piece? I call it my life. Your life gets very repetitive towards the end. Yup. <laughs> Actually, that's not even towards the end. Is that like the... See, what, I feel like the first the first three lines definitely represent school because you see a lot of like bouncing around on there, a lot of different variety in the pattern. And then after school, you can see where job happens. And then job, 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 job. You can't even see my mouse moving, but you get the point. Job, job, <laughs> job, job, job. It symbolizes life and how no one can retire anymore. So I work till I die. Don't take this I mean, the wrong way, but I think you need a therapist. Good news, I have two. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. What's tougher, GBA cartridges or DS cartridges? Mmm. <sighs> DS ones are harder to clean. GBA ones have spaces away from the connectors, which actually might be better, but DS ones are pretty tough too. Don't then DS get a third one. That... Wow. <laughs> Don't DS cartridges have uh, like lines between the, the actual... You have to go up and down each contact individually. Right? DS games are a pain in the ass to clean if they get dirty. Yeah. Don't take this the wrong way, but I think you need an exorcist. Oh, I haven't tried that one. <laughs> that, that's called deleting his Twitch account. <laughs> no offense to chat. But, but at that point, then I, that means I, I lose my income. So I feel like I, A, can't afford therapists anymore. And B, uh, have other problems I now have to deal with. <laughs> Yeah, DS and 3DS games have a less of a chance to get dirty, but the problem is if they get dirty, it's more of a pain in the ass to clean them. Yeah. Since, since you vent to us so much, can we be your third therapist? Well, A, I feel like having you all be a collective one, a third, is maybe not what you're going for. B, I don't think I can pay you all a therapist salary. And C, uh, I, I think maybe two of you total may actually be trained therapists. If even. I'm being generous with that number. I don't know if any of you are certified. Uh, statistically, I can see it. Statistically, there's got to be at least one or two. All right. Let's see if it boots this time. A 
Hey! Yay! Now to figure out what I picked. <laughs> I love that you have no idea what you picked. Pinball <laughs> Tycoon! Press start! Play table, options, or high scores. Music on! Suffix on! I hate to tell you this, Deef, I think you just picked a pinball game. We've got I mean, California Gold Rush with Gold 3D Donkey Poop! Black Gold with a sign that says Black Gold so you know it's really Black Gold. Hollywood Mogul! Scene 5, the only scene of this movie. Golden Chance with the only gold thing being a crown that is on top of a lion, I think? It's hard to tell. I think it's supposed to be a lion? Alright, we gotta start with the gold poop. Select number yeah, of players, me. It was gonna be really good, really bad, or just kinda meh. It's looking like it's one of the latter two. Ball one of five. Shovel. Ball lost. Player one. Wait a minute! Why is it like that? I, I I need to get up to that top ramp and hold it to, for to show this. The letters on the side spell "get gun," but <laughs> the "get" is backwards compared to the gun, so it says "tag gun." <laughs> Would you like to tag gun, chat? Oh my god, no, you're right. It's Nugget upside down, which is also still wrong. Why is that like that? Wow. That's still wrong that it's upside down like that. Weird. I think Tag Gun is funnier, but yeah, no, you, you're absolutely right. That's Nugget. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but it's still fucking weird that it's like that. Gold Rush has to be multi-ball, right? Maybe? Retire? No. No, I don't want to retire. Give me the fucking ball. <laughs> <sighs> well, since this is going to be most laid back pinball stream, more questions? Yeah, something tells me this might be chill question time as we play through questionable quality pinball game. Favorite pinball table? Um, hmm, there's a... There's a pinball table I've always wanted to own, but I know I never will unless I get really into pinball collecting, and that's Cactus Jacks. It's the first pinball table I remember playing as a kid. It is all about um, a, like the equivalent of like a, I was supposed to say Five Nights at Freddy's. The equivalent of like a Chuck E. Cheese where they got a bunch of animatronic like uh, fruits and vegetables playing like music, but it's <laughs> supposed to be like a, like a Western themed bar and instead they play polka music. So it's all about <laughs> throwing fruits at these robots that are like I think, think there might be cacti actually, uh, at these uh, these things playing these animatronics that are playing like music, and you're supposed to like piss off the crowd to get bonus points, and you get ranked for your multiplier on what type of fruit you throw at the animatronics. Oh, that's great! And I remember every time you start the game, it goes like, "Welcome to Cactus Jacks. It's polka time." Or that might be the multi-ball polka. I forget, but there's there's polka music in it there somewhere too. And every time you go around one of the ramps, like you hear like the the animatronic go "Yeehaw!" I think it's in one of the Pinball FX collections. If you want to see the actual table in in like in play digitally. Just because I want to answer it, someone was wondering how how John and I met, and the answer is I made stream I made cookies like still a thing after straw poll decided to start freezing. Uh, that's just the starter bitch. <laughs> oh, that's Rosa talking. Okay, it's me and Rosa talking. I thought the game was suddenly talking to me because I just saw it on screen go guns.
Asked earlier, but back to the therapy topic. How do you come out to a therapist easier about what's going on with you so you can get help? I've been kind of trying uh, trying to get help for myself, but I've been putting it off for two months because I've had a fear of being judged, because I have been judged by a doctor who was supposed to help me before they dropped me, and I've been scared since. Well, first off, a good therapist won't judge you. That's literally their job is to not be a non-judgmental person. Uh, but honestly, the way I look at it is they're someone who know absolutely nothing about me, and as a result, they... anything I tell them really won't have any effect on their day-to-day -day or any of my day-to-day. -day. It's just someone I can talk to and work out shit with. So, again, it, it, it'll depend on the quality of therapist you come across, but for the most part, just look at it as it's, like, a friendly stranger that won't, like, cause you any problems. The only time a therapist is supposed to intervene in like a like a personal aspect like that is if you're potentially causing danger to yourself. Like if you're yourself suicidal knowledge, or yeah. if you are uh, murderous, like something like that. That's when they have to like contact authorities or something like that. But otherwise, that's about it. Yeah. Finding a therapist that you can work with I've gotten lucky, and most of the therapists I've worked with have been great, but sometimes you, you end up with a bad egg, which is unfortunate. I haven't beaten my Ian Corrado and Ant, but I got on the scoreboard. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Camille, that is indeed Cactus Jacks. Here, let me, let me show you this. Okay, so this is why I thought it was the fruit with the animatronics, because the fruit actually have faces on them. You can throw eggs, there's like watermelons, and I think those are supposed to be cacti on the stand. Try that again. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is Cactus Jacks. So this is why I thought it was animatronic fruit, because you can see faces and eggs on the, uh, on, uh, like, faces on, like, the eggs and the fruit and stuff like that. But they're being thrown at animatronic cacti on a stage, and everyone's dressed up like they're at a cowboy bar. So that's what's going on here. The actual table has, like, a bunch of cool ramps, like, a big scorecard there. And again, like, it, it just kind of yells at you while you're playing at it. Like, it's just, it's a really, really fun, silly table. I don't think it's the best table out there. There's definitely, like, like Terminator 2 is a fantastic pinball table, for example. Like, Star Trek Next Generation, Doctor Who, etc., etc. But, like, for some reason, because this was the first one I played, it's the one I would always want to get. Where did I play this at? In an arcade back in, like, the town next to where I lived. Back when arcades were plentiful back then. I always had fond memories of the Addams Family pinball. Oh, that's a very popular pinball table. Like, that's considered a very good one. All right, that was gold poop. Let's play black gold. Cactus Jack's on the pinball arcade game. Okay, that's the one it's on. It's not on FX, it's pinball arcade. All right, good start. Not even a ball saver, wow. Are those Confederate flag bumpers? <laughs> Yeah! -ha! Huh. Okay. This game is a choice. It was a different time. 2007? <laughs> I mean, I guess to be fair, Dukes of Hazard also has the flag on there, and that's very not that. Yeah, it's a Texan and it offends me that they can't even get yeehaw right. I don't get why it's yeha. <laughs> that's what I don't get. Something I think of when I'm in my therapy slash counseling sessions is to think that, that they're not there. Hang on, I'm trying to read that while also play pinball here. Uh, 
Something I think of when, when I'm in my therapy counseling sessions is to think that they're not there yet. It sounds weird, but it kind of helps me express my thoughts more. I mean, that makes sense, because really, like, a therapist is going to be like, just tell me how you feel, like, what's your gut feeling, and then you kind of go from that. So I can see that being a case, too. Yeehaw, clearly copyrighted by Big Oil. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't want them there, why hire a therapist? No, 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 that's not the logic from it. You want them there, but if you pretend you're not there, it's it's for people who don't know how to talk to themselves, essentially. There is a point with a therapist where you do need to, you need to learn to be honest with yourself, and that's the challenging part about it, and kind of the reason people go to therapy is to learn to be honest with themselves. So one way for people to actually manage to do that is to literally talk to themselves like no one's there. Mm -hmm. Hollywood Therapist mogul. Server, serve, server. Therapist server. I'm a nerd. Therapists serve many different functions. For some, it's getting a different perspective. For others, it's helping them figure out how to figure themselves out. Smash Hollywood. <laughs> Teach Hollywood lesson. This is such a low-budget pinball game. Holy shit. But I love it. It's just a picture of a, like, <laughs> black-and-white movie star. It's just like, yep, that's all we got. This is probably from a black-and-white movie, maybe. We don't know. Take it! I, I think this... This definitely falls in the meh category. Like, yeah. it, it's not like it's a bad pinball game. It's just not a good one. It's it's eh. Which is unfortunate because I was hoping I was hoping for either like a hidden gem or really bad. I gotta laugh. Icy put in a, a game choice and they said like you haven't experienced bad game, bad pinball game on GBA until you play Pac-Man pinball. So apparently that's in the cookie now. I don't get why the bumper sound is a cracking of a whip, though. Oh, no, oh, no, it's supposed to be the clacker board. That's what that is. Which just conveniently also kind of sounds like a whip crack. What's up, John? Not much. Not Mr. Henderson. Just playing shitty pinball GBA games. You now living the dream. Ticket. Ticket. I'm a little worried. We have not. This one seems a lot harder to drain on than all the other boards we've done so far. We might actually be stuck on this one for a while. What makes a pinball game bad? Um, probably bad physics, bad boards. Yeah, as soon as I said it. Where's the tycoon gameplay in this pinball game? Oh, it's just literally the fact that it's... All money related. All ventures. money related, yeah. The literal definition of tycoon versus what Deef was actually going for. I, I was 95% sure it was going to be this and not some amazing, like, you're running a tycoon or a pinball business to make money game. I know that, I um... Go for it. What is it? Uh, Big O sent me actually a uh, a game on Steam, arcade something. I have to, I have to remember what the name of it is, but it's the equivalent of that, but for arcade games. Like you're running a laundromat and you have your arcade games in the back, and the more you play them, the more money that they can bring into your company and stuff like that. I feel so like some, I've heard of that one. It's a somewhat recent game, arcade collector. It starts with a C, I think. I just added it on Cookie. If you go to Backloggery. Uh, let me see here. Arcade Paradise. It does not start with a C. Arcade Paradise. Oh, 
Oh god, this is only ball three! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to own your own arcade? Drive? Absolutely, I would love to, but arcades don't make money. <laughs> they don't make the money they, they used to. If it was completely viable to be like, I would be guaranteed to make money with it, 100%. That's one of those things I would want. Fuck, that's one of Reese's dreams. Reese would love to open like a a classic retro arcade with games that are only from like the 70s and 80s. Like nothing like modern, like no, like no initial D, no guitar freaks, none of that. Like all stuff like uh, Pong, Pac-Man, Galaga, etc. like that kind of stuff. I... She doesn't want any ticket so games or anything like that, too. It, it would be, like, just, like, you go in, it's like a quarter a game mm -hmm. kind of thing. The, um... I've stopped watching Linus Tech Tips recently, but one of the things that he mentioned doing, um, which I thought was a great idea, um... Oh my god, the picture changed! The picture. They're, they are changing the picture. Interesting. It's a dude with a Tommy um, gun now. It looks like the dude from Home Alone! <laughs> In the movie, <laughs> the fake movie they made up! Oh, that's great. Um, but one of, one of his ideas was a, um, like a modern variant, a modern spin on the arcade. Um, which is mostly, it, it'd mostly just be a, um, a land center, effectively, mm. but like, it get really strict on the rules of like, hey, this is, this is League Night, this is Smash Night, this is whatever, to get everyone there playing together, instead of just being a place where you go to to rent a computer for a bit. And I could definitely see that working, but I'd also see like, it'd be great if that had some side, some stuff on the side. Wow, we actually had a pretty it. good score, and that was not top score on that. Holy shit. We have one last table to look at. Golden Chance. Can I say, as somebody who's played it since it, the night it came out, I think you'd really like Arcade Paradise. Fun sim game and all the arcade games you buy are playable and pretty decent. Yeah, uh, Big O said the same thing when he, when he sent it to me. How, uh, so that, that arcade you described, we actually saw a place like that down when I was hanging out with Emil. Like, they had uh, a bunch of rooms where you could do VR. They had a couple rooms where you could do, like, multiplayer smash on different systems and stuff like that. But they also had, like, classic arcade machines. They had some emulator machines. They had, like, a like a digital pinball table that had, like, hundreds of tables on it. They had a Pandora's box machine. But then at the same time, like, they had, like, an actual Turtles in Time. Or, sorry, regular Turtles arcade machine. Classic arcade machines, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So like, it's a nice balance nice. of everything. But you could also go and just play like Smash with a couple people, play an air hockey table, play a pool table, etc. Yeah, that definitely does sound nice. Cause yeah, I I feel like you you'd need the balance, but then you'd also need the the like, hey, here's twenty seats. This night is this game to get everyone playing together, so that when mm. you and some friends go, you're actually you know the people you're playing with. Or at least are in the same room as the people you're playing with. And you don't have two people playing League, someone playing World of Warcraft, someone playing Insert XYZ, etc. This is a very interesting board. I don't like pinball. What makes it fun? Uh, the thing with pinball is that it, it's like somewhat skill based because you have to control, you have to learn to control like where your shots go. I definitely thought that said Chad bonus and not card bonus. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like it, it sometimes like it's hard to do on this one specifically, but like sometimes you gotta learn how to control your shots and like aim for certain uh, trick shots and like different angles. Like here, now I can hang on to the shot and I can aim for certain ramps like that, at least on other tables. Usually they have kind of like cool effects. It's just like a fun, like relaxing thing. It, it's definitely, um, if you're good, you can get pretty good, but there is also just eventually a bit of chance that rolls in there. Just oh, from yeah. the chaos theory of pinball. Well, pinball, pinball used to be considered gambling. So yeah, definitely a game of chance there, but the, it's been since 
uh, I think, legally found to be a game of skill, and that's how they got around, like, getting shut down or getting regulated like uh, like slot machines and stuff have been? I mean, given there's no output, it's just a score thing. I feel like that's the other side of it. At least most of the time, anyway. I'm assuming there are pinball ticket machines out there, but... Remember when some guy proved the pinball is a game of skill and not luck, so the casinos had to get rid of their pinball machines? Oh, uh, see, I, I again heard it the other way around. It was because that way it could actually be in places that weren't casinos. I always heard it as like, that's why you could that's why you could see them in actual arcades because uh, they didn't have to be in a casino because they weren't skill games or they were skill games, not chance games. I mean, casinos can probably have whatever they want. It's just they wouldn't want a game of skill. Because if it's a game of skill, it means it can be gamed. Yeah. And the house is, is on the lo can theoretically be on the losing side consistently, which is not what a casino wants. They want everything to be predictable. They want the money. Yep. But we are also taking on King Vegas himself, so maybe, maybe we can prove them wrong. If we defeat this pinball table, do we actually like win gambling? Does Las Vegas disappear? It's it's definitely really cool the the mechanical engineering that can go into a pinball table, um, but if. Like, a, a lot of the modern ones are just microprocessors and sensors, but if you look back at some of the older pinball tables, they are electromechanical marvels. Like, oh, yeah, amazing. no, dude. Retro Absolutely tables amazing. are, like, like from an engineering standpoint, incredible. There, there was a... Um, I don't know where the museum was, but there was a super old pinball table there. And it was just awesome to see the inside of it, where it's like, how? How does this work the way that it does? And yeah, that works anyway. You become the new King of Vegas if you defeat King Vegas. <laughs> well, we gotta do it now. Unfortunately, based on how we're scoring on this table, we are probably not defeating King Vegas. Vegas gets to live for another day. Especially since I haven't figured out really how to get any, like, good score going on this. Other than going for the ramp, which has been not the easiest shot to make when stuff like that happens. Oof. I'm enthralled by most, and like, most feats of engineering, Crytoxin. I nope. enjoy seeing cool mechanical things. How much room do we have on here? Surprisingly generous room. Damn it. <laughs> I'm King John, but I still have to defeat Ian, Corrado, and Ant. Alright, that's all four tables. What score do we need to get on... Oh, wow. Mogul needed... Why? <laughs> I think they realized they made that table too easy. Holy shit. Modern tables are definitely really cool, though for slightly different reasons. Um, depending on, on how you build them out, modern tables can have just a completely different spin. That's not possible with, with your old tables. Wow, you're still alive, John? Yeah, we're just wrapping up. That was last game of the night. So we just need to... Alright, remind me, I'm gonna do this right now. Uh, that game... I think might be marked as beatable on Backloggery, but it definitely is one that doesn't have an ending, so let me quickly tweak that. While I remember... Yep. There we go, that's tweaked. Oh fuck, stall! I mean... 
I'll stall for a bit, but there's, uh, from what I remember, there's no draw pile tonight, so I, I can't use that to stall. I'm dummy as hell, was my game ever called? Uh, not tonight, Prime. Uh, let me see... Let me see what else is here. I don't even know if you're even on the current list, or the first page, Prime. Bump, 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 request, request queue... Uh, oh, yes, you are. Uh, you are on this page here, but you're like halfway down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. You got a couple of cookies before your game shows up. For reference's sake, the queue currently has... G Ooh. <laughs> 254 games in it. Although the games from 200 and up are only from 14 days ago. So in the past 14 days, 54 games have been added to the cookie, the cookie jar. I think we've had like three or four games added per... Like, per poll minimum today alone. Uh, 151... Yeah, 151 to 200 goes to 21 days to a month ago. 100 to 150 is the two month ago range and and the one month range. 51 to 100 is the three month range to the two month range. And right now we're still in the three month pile on the top 50. As remembered, I've seen the pinball table you own, John, at a retro game shop and repair back in December. Thought it was a regular model version, or though it was a regular model version that takes quarters. I mean, I can, mine can modify mine to take quarters too. It's just the setting. That's all it is. Because those things are made to be like sold. It's sold to like people who want to like actually run arcades or just put them in bars. Mm -hmm. Deep Dragon and. Rectapolo, thank you for the gift subs to Origami Gamer and Lizzie Licious. Wadal Tankovic for 79, Deef Dragon for 74, and Timid Victini for 10. Thanks for the subs, folks. Your eggs tonight, I assume, are going back to the shuffler. Let me find out here. Uh, I think so. Yep, shuffler. You will give me an herb. Sorry, Albert. Can we, can we do that again? You will give me global penetration, global masturbation, castration, George Bush. Oh, fuck it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Keep forgetting how long that one is. Uh, I'm trying to get audio of that Cactus Jack's pinball table I was telling you about. Here, uh, TNT Amusements. This looks like it shows off a good sample of this table. From That's the music from the game. That's the music I remember. Look at how color. Look at how colorful this table is. Whoa! Can't listen to that. Right, Tony? Great mm -hmm. LEDs. Okay, we did a little... Uh, uh, Tony, was it Tony that worked with us? Tony did some fun with this. So, so like, these cacti dance as well, LED. I believe, when, like, the multi-ball okay. goes off. But He's I know they also bounce when the bump... Oh, no, it's these ones back here cacti. that are supposed to, like, dance around, we I think. We have six color changers here lighting our, our stars of the show. So we have three in the back. Do not blink. In but look at how crazy colorful this is. This is why they I got drawn to this as a folds, kid. But they do not run off. And we still have to put our key to like lock. Ed, you... they think they're going to think you are actually brightening. So you want to throw because every time you throw something at them, 
they get all pissed off. <laughs> and there's top one is up Yeah, top. oh my god. This is this is yeah, there we go. Look at that! I, it's I fucking awesome! And there's the multiplier. The, the multiplier starts at egg and it goes, I think, all up the way to watermelon. So if you're hucking watermelons at like people, you you've lost control of your life. Where they're really bad at their job. The Vinci, the protector rubbers here. Or the Gallagher. Or Gallagher. Here, if you guys want to see like this this video for yourself, uh, pop it in chat here now. Uh, this channel name is TNT Amusements Incorporated. Yeah, did you see what that did? Defect. No. Well, God, only the rubber a little. Uh, I can't tell if that's a water or you. What? And if you look at the, Frank, the description, it says there's only 1900 that were made. Oh, 19. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Holy crap. Yeah, no, getting one of these would be a pain in the ass then. But Gottlieb usually, I think they didn't make that many tables anyways, or like, because the last, one of the last tables I remember them making were the Mario ones. Because they made two Mario tables, and those are pretty sought out, but they're not considered good tables. There we go, there's the polka music. The shop I found it on said it was uh, four thousand four hundred ninety dollars. Damn. Right the Did you just have a major flashback? Oh yeah, totally. Uh, this was I would have been like seven when I played this, if even. So the egg thing started early with you, huh? I mean, you could say that between eggs and melons. So really, take your pick on that one. January 91, so yeah. In that case, I would have played it in 91 or 92, so I would have been six or seven. I'm fucking wild, dude. Most expensive pinball machine ever made. That's gotta be something bespoke by one of the more popular machine makers. I wonder if it's gonna be with that ridiculous, gigantic machine, Hercules or whatever it's called. This question would have to be split up into two of, like, most a pinball machine has ever sold for and most, like, MSRP, highest MSRP table. So those are two slightly different questions. All right, uh, let's wrap up properly then, shall we? Sexy Gardevoir says, pinball fund for that pinball fund for that pinball table. No. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> the real problem is I don't have room for another table, so I'd have to get rid of something I have here if I ever wanted another one. And what I want to do is I probably want to get rid of that Asteroids Deluxe machine behind me and uh, get a MAME cabinet built, like a proper four-player one. I've said this before. I would love to get a MAME cabinet built that had art, like, from people in the community. I would love to do that, but I gotta figure out the logistics behind it, and I gotta figure out how to get this machine out of here in the first place. Find it to get it to a buyer who would want to get it. I was right. Super Mario Brothers Mushroom World Pinball Table by Gottlieb only had 519 tables made. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yikes. How did you end up with that Asteroids machine anyways? I won it in a raffle at an arcade convention that happened in town. <laughs> Funny thing was, the year after, I went again and won another machine, so the guy couldn't believe that I won twice in a row. Uh, they gave me a- it was a pseudo pinball table that played like, um, Crossfire, that board game? You know, where you have like the two- the, the Gatling guns that shoot like little pinballs and you're shooting a little disc? Except this was more of a target practice game where you shot at like all these different ramps. The game had like 50 ramps around it. And you had to just shoot at the certain ones for high scores and stuff like that. The problem was, the game broke getting transported to my apartment. So I could never get it fixed because it turned out it also like blew a fuse that kept breaking constantly. So I, I gave it to uh, a game dev that knew how to fix machines or at least was like working on them. So I get, he took the machine home there and he actually fixed my Asteroids Deluxe machine which worked for a while and then it broke again. I need to, uh, 
I need to clean the contacts for the buttons in it, because it turns on fine and plays fine, but the, some of the buttons don't work. So that's why it's just kind of taking up space in the background. Arcade machines are super cool, but man, upkeep on them sucks. Doubly so when you're someone with ADHD who can't fucking focus on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Codename Vixen says, Oh boy, my dad would love to have an actual pinball table. Sadly, our house is way too small for us to have one. Also, we don't have the kind of money that would allow us to get one. That's the thing. Pinball tables are pricey, as you guys are aware of, with the one that we have here. <laughs> oh yeah, how's the Wii U going? Same thing! <laughs> yep. Uh, someday. Someday we'll get it fixed. Let's go to Art Block. Alright, art block starts here. That's again me clicking Discord and not OBS. New California Republic from Blonde Lombax. I know Peach Ball lost. I just wanted an excuse to share this piece I made a while ago that I'm pretty proud of. I don't know why I drew pieces like this, and honestly, I don't think I care. Also, New California Republic. I'm proud. But why? But why? I get. I get that she's a bear, and the stuffed animals bear. But, but why is it just because of the bear on the fly? I'm so confused. <laughs> Thanks, Lombax. Couldn't resist. I'm legit proud of how it came out. It did come out very well. It's just, it's just confusing. Next up from Mimo Riru. Someone looks very cocky and confident. I mentioned this in chat and will say it again for stalling reasons. I got a new therapist after losing my old one to a hospital trip. And sometimes after coming out of psych wards, you just get assigned new therapists and happened to me. So it's been hard, but I'm genuinely getting help. So thank you, John. Anyways, went back to the list I gave Cupo, saw Minerva Mon, went, I should just make that this a series. So have a work in progress. Minerva Rosamon. I shall do all the big booby Digimon. Well, from what I have heard and seen, you, you won't have a shortage. Thank you, Mimo. Appreciate it. Why does that bear's face look like a member of the Slowpoke family? Uh, that's actually what the bear looks like in the games. This, this tracks. This tracks. Next up, from Buttery, this is what we're stalling for, apparently. Ha ha ha, I foresee nothing wrong with this! I can't even read the text. Son of a fucking goddammit, free pancakes. I use cubes colors for Rosa because I couldn't find mine quickly. Really, really quick one for the round edition of Cookie. Funny big round, also enabling my friends this funny. God damn it. Would have had more time if I wasn't recording cutscenes for the next Xenoblade recap. Sorry, Buttery. <laughs> so round, though. Well, I, I assume she won, at least. Thanks, Buttery. And the last piece of God here. Pizza? God damn it. Now I fucking want pizza. From Mika. Since there's been a lot of round roses on the Buru, I wanted to draw her enjoying some pizza. Since it's been a while since I've drawn her with this body type, I had an idea earlier to draw her doing a Kirby's Dream Buffet pizza course, but I thought it would be too greasy. I mean, pizza has a lot of grease. I can see that, but again, always nice to see a normal body type on Rosa. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, Mika. And with that, folks, that is not Art Block, because there's one last piece in there. From Thunder Creates, Kirby, but where's the cake? I definitely got my capture wrong, but anyways, I wanted to get this out real quick because I remember there was a different rolling around Kirby game, and of course, it was pinball. I'd imagine Kirby would rather eat cake, though. I mean, there's there's some maximum tomatoes you can get there. Sort of. Yeah, probably prefers the cake, honestly. Thanks, Thunder. <laughs> All right, that's our block, folks. And that is the stream as well. Again, reiterating, schedule for the week, Sunday, aka tomorrow, I'm on Laughing Boy LP's stream for a couple hours. We're gonna be playing some Mario Party over there, but uh, there's a fundraiser that starts there at uh, noon Eastern, 10 a.m. my time, mountain time. I'll be on at 4 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. Eastern, playing Mario Party with Nintendo Capri Sun, Laughing Boy, and a mystery guest. And if they manage to raise $2,000 over the whole event, There'll also be a Smash Brothers round that I'll probably be in around, I think that was 8 o'clock my time? Or 6? somewhere. I think it was 8. Monday, game clearing. We're going to do a one and done. We're going to try to start and finish a game. 
on Monday. Wednesday is going to be a race night, but it's going to be a little bit different than usual. And Saturday's fortune cookie. Folks, what's our raid message? Good, well-rounded stream. God damn it. <laughs> More content than Strikers? God, that's just too sad. I can't do it. Are you saying Rosa John's boobs aren't normal size? Oh, no, there are definitely people with that size chest. It's just it's not the average. It's above average, let's say. I also owe a Duke. Oops, I do. You're right. From Pantero. Let's see what we get for Duke this time. Freaking imposter. Man, that one has come up every night this week, I think. Let's re-roll that one. I have to go now. My pet needs me. I don't think that one's come up since it's been added. <laughs> Appropriate that we played a Simpsons game today, though. Perfect. God, that one's so good. Uh... Tag gun. <laughs> I kind of want to do tag gun. I think that's. I think that's the raid message for me, at least. Uh, let's see who's even live right now. I like the phrase well-rounded stream, but I think tag gun is funnier. Tag gun is way funnier. Oh, good. Jared's playing Fortnite as the. Borderlands Psychopath. What? I thought he'd be playing as Goku. Or is he trying to unlock Goku? Yeah. I think he's trying to unlock Goku. He's playing as a psychopath from Borderlands right now. And he's got his model turned into Hank Hill as Goku. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Because that way he'll know what a tag gun is, unlike me. <laughs> Let's go tell the good Jared about tag guns. Although he might be a bit distracted. Oh, he's doing a sponsored stream too, I just realized. That makes way more sense. Oh, that makes right, a lot more sense. Sponsored stream segment thing that's going on. I, I, I don't really consider myself a god dang impressionist, but... Uh... He needs 2,000 points to get it, though. I do enjoy it. Oh, he's gonna have to level up a ton. Yeah. Okay. So that guy just gave up on shooting us. Dang it, now. Dale, I tell you what, you better not be on Kazaa downloading more goddamn. Oh, he's, he's not gonna run countermeasures you during are? Fortnite, is don't he? Help me, boy. I just Jared, don't do it, my dude. You gotta, you gotta focus. Get that victory royale. Dale. Dale. Are you? <laughs> Hi! Now, dang it, I'm pretty sure, uh, <laughs> somebody's on LimeWire. Was that Roberto? Dang it, Roberto. We broke their glitched, we broke their glitched, uh, raid video. I, I feel like that's just boy. absolutely fitting for tonight. That is, is that a Game Boy? So fitting. I Let's just break things, break things on other streams. That's it's really just game. the way we go around here. Folks, I'll see you guys tomorrow over at Laughing Boy Stream, and I'll see you on Monday here for game clearing. Night, bud. Enjoy your very round night, apparently. This really is the round stream. Everything came full circle. God damn it. Oh shit, I didn't even run raid. Oh fuck. Uh let's just yeah, let's just like stall for like ten seconds. Do I even need to stall for ten seconds? Why am I stalling for ten seconds? Because there's a countdown on my screen telling me to stall for ten seconds. That's why we're stalling for ten seconds. That should be good enough to stall for, for ten, 10 seconds. seconds is fun. And we're good. Night everybody. <laughs>